Welcome, folks. Friday Night Football Citizens Bank Game of the Week right here on the D&D Sports Network. Daryl McCoy, Steve, David Jones, and Justin McCoy tonight on the call as Prestonsburg takes on Leslie County. David, what a beautiful facility here, and what an atmosphere with a jam-packed crowd. Absolutely, Darrell. I just uh, talked to uh, Coach right before the game, and his prediction was correct, just like I know ours was. Uh, uh, the number one thing about it was is that uh, they uh, we knew that they we knew that there uh, was going to be standing room only. Yeah, they, uh, as you sit here and look, the uh, the crowd, I mean, I was surprised here week one the uh, with the crowd and, uh, you know, how many people showed up. And dude, it looks dude. like Leslie County traveled well. Yeah, dude, it's standing room only. Like, it's, it's a big time. I, ain't, I haven't been over here for a football game since the last time I played here. Yeah, David, uh, a lot of people were surprised to see you here as West Virginia doesn't get started until next week there. You can see the Prestonsburg cheerleaders getting the fans up and ready here as they're getting ready to bring the team captains out. And this matchup here, you know, uh, <laughs> Prestonsburg lost quite a few players to uh, graduation. Leslie County lost a few, but what both teams do have is great quarterback play. Landry Collette coming in as the number eight quarterback in the mountains on the D&D &D rankings. And then you got the young freshman coming up, Bryce Holbrook. I expect really good quarterback play out of both of them. Uh, that was he, one of the two reasons why I'm here tonight, uh, Daryl, and uh, – is I'm, I'm excited to see the freshman quarterback uh, play, and I'm excited to see uh, my man Winston Harris come back home and get on the football field for the Black Cats. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time waiting, and I know a lot of a lot of his buddies been waiting him to get back, and he's back now, and I got to see him before the game, and is he not a brute? You hear me? That was a huge <laughs> addition coming back, and Prestonsburg, very blessed to have him back in, in uniform there for Coach Brandon Brewer. And then you take a uh, few more transfers that come over, uh, you know, in, uh, in Cole Lafferty. Yep. Uh, Colton Lafferty, he's going to be one that you got to pay attention to. He's a stud. They're going to be playing in the trenches. Yes, uh, he a big boy, too. Six, uh, he about 6'2", 250. Yep. And just a junior. And I mean, th whew. Then Logan Stumbo is yep. another kid that's going to be all over the field. Yeah, and he'll be number 62 tonight. Yep. There you go, they got the 2022 Black Cats. Really neat banner they got over there under the scoreboard. You know, I didn't notice that they had put that up there, but you know, that's a nice attraction here for the Black Cats. Absolutely, they got, it. They got it. some good things going on here, man. A great hospitality, man. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's just a great, it's a great atmosphere here. Coach Brewer is a, uh, I, I mean, he's a class act. You know, if you know Coach Brewer, you know, it don't matter who comes, he's going to treat you like your family. But he's a man that's been around the game, started at Powell County and uh, played at Union in his college days at Union. Mm -hmm. He's a man that knows the sport, and uh, Prestonsburg's very lucky to have a man like Brandon Brewer in charge. Hey, hey I'm going to tell you this, Daryl. He come up behind me and grabbed my shoulder. And my good, he's a brute too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. I like, hold on, baby. Yeah, and Old then oh, dad here quit working out a long time ago. <laughs> well, for Leslie County, you got Coach Melton. Uh, Coach Melton, he's he's been around. You yeah, know, he, he's a man that uh, definitely has the experience. And Leslie County has slowly gotten better, and you know they're building a nice program there, and got a uh, Grade A quarterback to lead them. You know Absolutely. this season. Absolutely. Let me throw up our scoreboard here in our corner, right-hand corner up there. There we go. Yep. The uh, Landry Collette is uh, the quarterback for Leslie County. He uh, came over from one of the uh, schools there in Laurel County. I think you guys are really going to enjoy watching this young man play. And then number 34 there, he's the one that everybody's talking about. Bryce Pugh. Hey, stud. We just talked to uh, some of his hometown uh, radio, yeah, uh, uh, radio uh, guys over there, and and they was talking about how uh, tackle machine and the stud he is, and we was like, oh, we know. And he, <laughs> and when he uh, caught the ball, you could see all his athleticism out there here in, uh, in the warmups. Oh yeah, the uh, your black cat uh, captains out. Yeah, Preston Burke getting ready to come out of the 
tunnel as we make our way. You can see them there waiting to introduce them out of the huddle. Real quick, guys, we want to thank Conley Brothers Giovanni's. I want to thank Huff Pharmacy, Brick House, East Kentucky Gun and Pond, and the folks. Well, they got the smoke ready. And uh, we also want to thank the folks there at Pink Elephant for sponsoring tonight's game. Could not do it without them folks. Please make sure you follow them on Facebook and frequent their business. Here they come. Let's go up here at midfield real quick as the captains. Take the coin toss there. They got the first responders out there. The uh, first responders in here in Floyd County has been through so much, and uh, great that they're acknowledging them out there on the field. Absolutely. They're, they're real heroes, man. We have so much respect for our first responders, you know, and all of them, especially our law enforcement officers. There's Coach Brandon Brewer over to your left, and Coach Melton walking behind the hey, I'm going to nickname him a new name. It's Coach Brewer. <laughs> that, he comes by the honest. Absolutely. Coach Brew, because he is a brute. Uh, the uh, Queen Toss is getting ready to happen here. Folks, we also want to try to keep you guys updated uh, with some scores from around the mountains here also. Justin, who do we got uh, captains out there? Well, for Leslie, you've got number 56, Josiah Sparks, six-foot senior. Number four, Charles Hoskin, running back, senior. Number 26, Dalton Maggard, running back, senior. And number 34, the big, uh, dog. The big dog, Bryce, Bryce Pugh. Pugh. Now for Prestonsburg, I'm trying to get their numbers. It looks like 50 and 65. Joshua Elkins is 50, 6'4", senior. Number 65. Number 65 is Colton Lafferty. Hey, who's number two? He's a junior. And then number two is Dalton Elliott. He's a junior. Then number 52. And 52 will be Noah Price. He's a freshman. Oh, I like it. Yeah. You don't hardly see freshmen out there. No, no. I'm trying to look. I, I, I do got that right. It's 52, right? I'm trying to. 52. In front of 34 there. We're trying to see for you folks at home. I, I, it's on y'all because I can't see that point. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm just lucky to have a screen in front of me here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your screen yeah is it's pretty, 52. Yeah, your screen is pretty close there. Yeah, yeah it's 52. That's surprising. Prestonsburg wins the toss. Preston Burt win the toss, and they are going to choose to, let's see, they are going, they decline, they're going to choose to. They're going to play D, they're going to get, yes, sir. That's why I like it. It will be Leslie County ball. I'm excited to watch Bryce Pugh, Dave. Me too. I am too, man. We've heard a lot about him. Guys, make sure you hit that like and share button. If you guys don't have Facebook, you can also watch it on YouTube, DND Sports Network YouTube, or on dndsportsnetwork.com. So make sure you go and share all them broadcasts for us, get these numbers up for these boys as we get the Black Cats coming out of the tunnel here. They're Look at, hey, look at Leslie County down there uh, watching them. I don't come out. I love, love it. I love football. You there you me? go. Yes, I sir. I love football. Preston's Bird's got the swag factor going on down there. 
They got the thin blue line flag and the American flag coming out with. Here they come. Here comes your Preston's Bird Black Cats. I like it. Got the fireworks up <laughs> booming here. They do it right here in Peaberg. David, if uh, uh, you know, we're uh, glad to have you here calling the P Berg game. You know, uh, you spent a lot of years uh, with P Berg as your rival back in your Pond Creek days, and uh, you know, this is uh, I mean, you're no stranger to this football field. Absolutely not. <laughs> I, I can remember, I can remember a lot of days uh, after these games right here. I had a had to scroll up some uh, some injuries. <laughs> Here they come, Dalton Elliott. Now, that's a kid you got to watch out for, Dalton Elliott. He is long, and he is a problem. He covers a lot of ground. Uh-oh, they get, hey, guys, y'all overlooked me if I get too pumped up here. <laughs> yeah, man. This is my element. David, we got number 17 kicking off here. We got number 17 kicking off for Peabird. I don't have a 17. No, uh, Darrell, you've got it on yours. Uh, that's number 10, by oh, the way. Sorry, that's Alex Harris. Yeah, Alex Five Harris. Ten. He's a junior. I think that's, I think that, no, 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 that's number 50. Oh, yeah. Kicking, number 50 is kicking off. That's Joshua Elkins. Joshua Elkins. Oh, a little squid. And they're going to field it. It looks around the 26. It went out of bounds. So that's where, let's see where they'll start their drive here. Should be the 30. Should be the third. Yeah, yeah. 35. Yeah. Logan Stumbo, number 62, Logan was a number Stumbo. change. Okay. okay, Logan Stumbo, number 62, and that is for Leslie County, correct? No, for people. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Logan, Logan Stumbo. Stumbo, number 62. He's going to be one of the studs. Uh, yeah, linebacker. Uh, yeah, for many years we followed him since his middle school days, and uh, he's been a problem on the gridiron. Let's see. Leslie County will start to drive here, Dave, on the 34-yard line. We're going to get to see Landry Collette right out the gate with solid field position to start this drive. Collette hands it off. That's a big hole right yep. there. That's a big-time run there by number Dalton Maggard. 26. Yep, Dalton Maggard. There he goes. Big-time run. That hole opened up, but, you know, me me as a defensive coach, the D lineman got a good uh, good off in it. He just went up field too far. Yeah. He went up field too far and created that, uh, that hole right there. 16-yard gain on the play. Drop back the pass, and he's going to get out here to the flats. That's going to be good for five yards. Yeah, Colette's going to catch it just shy of the 50-yard line. That was caught by number 18 for Leslie County. You got that on yours, Yeah, coach? Simpson Ryland. Simpson Ryland. He's just, he's just a sophomore, too. Yes. He, he knew where he was going to. You can tell how he did it. That was a, that was a, a stick pass. So. Mm -hmm. You can see the scoreboard, top right-hand corner of your screen, sponsored by the folks at Double Quick. Get it on the double at Double Quick. That's Maggard again. He's going to pick up about three on the play. I wonder if he's kin to Freddie Maggard. Is he from that area? Or uh, you know, that may be true because Freddie, uh, actually, one day I was down in Leslie County, and uh, he was talking about this football team. So, you know, for him to be talking about it, he may have kin. So uh, I would say that's probably a good analysis mm -hmm. because I've heard Freddie a couple times talk about Leslie County. So, you know, that could be the connection. Gonna be in the shotgun formation, three by one. Three receivers to their left, one to the right. Got a motion going up top. Man in motion, that's number four in motion. That was uh, number four for press, or for Charles Leslie. Hoskins. Yep, Charles Hoskins. They're gonna get them for offsides, back them up. 
That'll put them back to the 48-yard line. Now, right now, you know, the thing about it, this line has got has had some new pieces from last year, and you could tell just starting out, you know, uh, they got they got to figure some stuff out because Leslie County they're moving the football on the ground and and they're doing it by running right up the gut. Yes. And honestly, Daryl, I've seen what I've seen just by experience. They're getting they're getting pressure. Yep. Oh, nice run by Collett. Oh, he breaks loose. Oh, he's down Ooh. the sideline, pushed out at about the 38-yard line. Nice QB keeper right there, Daryl. David, what you was talking about was them getting pressure. Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting, so what, what, what Prestonburg's doing, they're getting pressure, but the D lineman is, it's hard to explain they're over getting the pre, uh, pressure because they're creating a gap. They're yeah. creating a hole. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So they're going to have to learn to get pressure, stay square, stay on that line right there. And their pressure's coming from the outside, yeah, too. Yeah, they're getting it. You know, they're just creating a hole. And basically, they're putting them in the lap and just creating a bigger hole than it should. Ronnie and, Melton Jr. says, let's go, Eagles. Go, Colette. I'm very impressed with this Leslie County offensive line. Maggard again over the right side. Yeah, he hits the sideline. He's got he space. He could. He's down. Touchdown, Eagles. No, they're saying he stepped out. He stepped out at the five. Oh. Yeah. He stepped out at the five. Yeah, he he dove for that pylon, and I think everybody in the house thought he scored that one. And for good for Prestonsburg fans, yes. stepped out at the five. I believe that was good enough for a 32-yard run, Darrell. The uh, Maggard kid is grandson of Rod Maggard, who was all state in 1971. Oh, I appreciate that info. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, James Cottle. That is awesome. You always got some history, you know. Yep. So, I love some history. The ball's on the five-yard line, and if I had the bet, it's going to go to Maggard again. <laughs> yeah, they've used him early, and they've used him often. He's a stud. And he might see another carry right here down the coast. There you go. To Now he fakes the handoff. Airs it out. Go to the big dog. And he's going to get tackled. He's going to be at the one yard line. Yeah. Or I, I'd say the inch yard line. <laughs> it's going to be number five credited for the tackle there for Prestonsburg. So it's going to be second to go. That is number five, Colin sorry. Hatfield. I was looking down there at the Oh, uh, you're fine. Yeah. But that was a big time. That was a big time run. That's, a, that's the big dog there, number 34, was Bryce Pugh. There you go. Collette brings the play to the huddle. The Eagles break the huddle here. And I, the way you want to bet here, quarterback sneak. I say Magger. I say on the pew. I say Magger. No, Magger. Oh, Dave caught it. Yeah. QB sneak. <laughs> There's a reason Dave's Touchdown. the head coach in the booth here. Yes, Touchdown, sir. Touchdown, Eagles. Leslie County will go up six to nothing on Prestonsburg with a Landry Collette touchdown, his first one of the season. Looks like they're going to go for one. They're going to kick a field goal here. It's all, just a little inside, guys. When we're down there on the goal line like that, you have to inch your line. It's easier to go forward than to turn around and hand it off. Yeah, yeah that's true. Oh, well, the uh, – For some, I had, yeah. I had a couple uh, <laughs> offensive and it's up, it's good. Yep. That was number Seven nine. nothing. Number nine, Jesse Osborne. Leslie County leads Prestonsburg seven to nothing. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back here on our Citizens Bank Game of the Week. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side-by-side? -side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, 
your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit KieferSpowerSports.net. And we're back. Yes, we are. Back here on the Citizens Bank. Game of the Week. David Jones, Daryl McCoy, and Justin McCoy on the call here as Leslie County jumped out to an early 7-0 lead on a Landry Collette one-yard touchdown run. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, and I, I was very impressed with uh, Leslie County's offensive line there. And, you know, that quarterback, uh, real deal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> real deal. And he's going to deep. That is number six there. Oh, he's around the edge. He, he got some room. That's Kane Patton. And, and he, he some room. gets to. There's a spot for those black cats. He gets to uh, the Leslie County side of the field, and they will start their drive, David. Looks like he got pushed out around the 46-yard yes. line. And I tell you what, I, I, I know what the – I definitely know what – No, kickoff, the 49, they're saying he stepped out. I definitely know what field position on kickoffs, kick returns can do for your team and spark your team. <laughs> yeah. And that, that was much needed right there. I, I like that. So. Well, I have the starting debut. He kind of looked like Smoke David Smoke. Jones in the Liberty Bowl, just yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Without the hitch in his giddy up. Yeah. And he's going to. Oh, he Holbrook's going deep. And yeah, and they wanted game. the flag. Yeah. Who was that intended for there? That was number 10. That was Alex Harris, Jr. So guys, if you're tuning in, hit that like and share button. Get these numbers up, and you can let us know who you're rooting for and where you're watching from down in the comment section below. You go Prestonsburg. Prestonsburg going to come out with a two-by-one set with the wing back in the back here, and we got a motion set. Hands it off to number three. That's number three. That is Nick Kidd, yep. six foot one eighty running back senior. I wonder if he's akin to Alex Kidd. I coach Alex Kidd from here in Prestonsburg. Um, I coach him at Hatfield McCoy. Both great kid, great. He's a great player too. So he picked up eight on the yeah, carry he there. Like he, he's down. No, we got a black cat. I don't think it's him. I think it's number. That's number three. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. And as you know, David, every year at this time of year, you're going to have cramp problems Absolutely. to start the season. So yes. I guarantee that's what it is. Listen, <laughs> we, we talked about that um, today in practice. We was like, now y'all know next week what's going to be in the 90s now. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, so we've been harping on them to stay hydrated and, and stuff like that. And that's what it looks like. We're like a cramp. Have you ever seen a uh, – have you ever seen week one – any game that you've ever been to where they've not been cramped. No, I, really I mean, I've never seen really the start no. of the season a game without yeah, cramps. I, yep. I haven't. I you remember, haven't. Dave, back when we used to get the Pike County Bowl, man, it was so hot. Oh. They'd hold us off. <laughs> yes. We couldn't get on the field till late. I those days, man. We, we wouldn't get on till late. And, yeah. And, and we already we, – we had we probably had about almost 40 kids at yes. the Phelps when we was there. And, and I'm telling you, we, but we still, we have 40 kids, but we have 40 kids that can play on the field, you know. Right. And we were like, man, I hope we don't get no cramps. Yes. <laughs> and then Belfry would come on, it'd be midnight yeah. ending. Yeah. Blake Burchett says, watch them from Montana. We got Billy Preston watching from Kitts Hill, Ohio. We got uh, we got Doug Coots cheering on the Eagles from Powell County, Tennessee. And then Freddie Maggard's father is uh, their first cousin. So, oh, okay. So there is yeah. some uh, family stuff. Okay. And awesome. Dave, at, uh, the quarterback for Leslie, Landry Collette, man, he had a great season last year. He's going to walk off the field here on his own recognizance here. Well, he's got a uh, couple guys helping him, but looks like he's going to be all right. Uh, updated score on the Belfry uh, Breathitt County game. Uh, Belfry's up six to zero. Belfry just got another inter just got an interception. They take it to midfield in the first quarter. Oh, Holbrook. Oh, oh everybody we got a moat. Yep. False start. Mm -hmm. Tell you a big game like this, man. Those false starts hurt. Yeah. 
I'm going to tell you what, though, just like Leslie County offense, uh, Preston Bird offense is handling his own also. Mm -hmm. yep. I've been very impressed with these both of these offenses. Maybe we've had 17 different states already either messaged on one of our social media sites, 17 different states represented. Wow. Paul Napier watching from Batavia, Ohio. Oh. Uh, Terry Jones watching from uh, Conley Bottom at Lake Cumberland. Very familiar with Conley Bottom. Here we go. Bryce Holbrook's in the gun. Man in motion. It's going to go to number two. Dalton Elliott. You got to get up that field. And he's going to lose yards on the play. They're going to be pushed back to their side of the field now. He had nowhere to go. And listen, David. Great but, defensive play uh, yeah. by, uh, by Leslie County there. You know, here's the interesting thing. The, uh, well, we have punt formation coming in, maybe. Yep, we're going to have punt formation coming in for the Black Cats. That's number 24. Uh, it's Tyler Stevenson for the Black Cats to be putting the ball away. I'm a big fan of Tyler Stevens. He's a, a multi sport athlete here at Prestonsburg. Nice kick. Yeah, really nice punt. And he's going to be pushed out at about the 22 yard line by Alex Harris. So, yeah. so what, I, what I seen what? there a little bit. Uh, Darrell, I've seen uh, no pressure coming. That's probably you can set up for a little fake there. There was no pressure coming, and it opened up for a fake to be to, to take place. So if we see one later on in the game, you heard it first. <laughs> now, now we've seen Landry Collette, you know, take them down the field there a while ago and, uh, and score a one-yard TD run, but the whole drive was led by Collette. You know, uh, Justin, what was his stats last year? You got him? Yes, sir, Dave. Last year he had a good season. He passed for over 2,200 yards, 30 touchdowns, only 14 interceptions, and he rushed for almost uh, 400 yards, 350 yards. Wow. That's unreal. And uh, we just, there he goes, Colette swings it out wide. He swings that out to number 22. Craig Bray. Now, David, uh, our dirty dozen that we put out every year that's the top 12 quarterbacks in the mountains uh, mm -hmm. comes out and we uh, had Landry Collette ranked number eight and when we come in we had a, uh, a couple <laughs> local media uh, that was laughing at the ranking and uh, you well, know well, it, it, it looks like he deserved it. <laughs> well we see why we're the, we're the top in the mountains. Yeah, you hear that, me? That's why we are the leader <laughs> in mountain sports. <laughs> I'm going to stay in the hum shotgun. Hey, humbly speaking. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, Colette. Takes a snap. Yep. Yeah, he had trouble, but he got it back. Oh, oh intercepted. Oh. Hey, yes, sir. Who it is, number 62, Logan Stumbo. Big play by Logan Stumbo, and I told you we would hear his name before you this sure game was did. over. You that was a great deflection. Yeah. Right. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he, he is limping, guys. That's not good for Prestonsburg. That's not good at all. Hopefully just tweak yeah. the ankle or something. Yeah, keep, keep it prayers coming for him. We got Billy McCoy says, let's go Eagles. Amberly Wood says, let's go Leslie. Uh, Greg Fleming saying, let's go Black Cats. Got an update on the Belfry game. Uh, we got in the first quarter with 4.04 to go. Got Belfry 14, Brentley County 0. Oh, wow. Belfry jumping out to a two-touchdown lead. That's what you got to do if you're a Russian team like Belfry. Yes, there you go. Hands it off. He's going to pick about two, but Leslie County. Oh, man. Uh, he fought forward for a yes, couple sir. extra. He kept the feet moving. Yeah, that's I'm trying to see. It's number 21 on the carry. Jacob Rose. Guys, if you're just tuning in, you're watching the Citizens Bank Game of the Week with David Jones, Daryl McCoy, and Justin McCoy as uh, Prestonsburg trails Leslie County 7 to nothing here with 5.59 to go here in the first quarter. Handoff. Yeah. Colin Ooh. Hatfield up the right side. <laughs> and it was a <laughs> Pew Ooh. laid a lick. You know who that was. Yes, exactly. sir. <laughs> Pew, yeah, he, he come through with the boom. And I tell you, I like these Leslie County we helmets. Got a, we got another one, Black Cat Hurt. That's Nick Adams, number 54. Hopefully he's okay. Sure, there's going to be a lot more hurt if uh, 
If Bryce Pugh don't calm down because that kid is laying the wood out there. He sure is. We got an injury on the field. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. Stop spending your money at the big box store and come to East Kentucky Gun and Pond. Get everything you've been looking for at a better price. East Kentucky Gun and Pond has guns, TVs, game systems, collectibles, and more. Come see us located conveniently in the town of Prestonsburg. East Kentucky Gun and Pond, we're looking forward to seeing you. Huff Drug is now open. If you're looking for somebody to take care of all your pharmaceutical needs, we are your guy. Huff Drug accepting new patients and most insurances. We have a drive through for your convenience. If you want a pharmacy that not only cares about you, but your community, come see us at Huff Drug, located at the foot of Walmart Hill in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. We're back here at Prestonsburg for the Citizens Bank game of the week. Leslie County leads Peaburg seven to nothing. Nick Adams walked off the field, looked like he would be okay, David. Let's hope. I hope so. Oh, oh, oh nice play. He's brought down, looks like, at about the 16-yard line. Nice run. Gosh, that was nice. He gave it a ball to Colin Hatfield, and he yeah. reached it to uh, Jacob Rose for a big game. That was a nice save tackle there by the safety for Leslie County. That's number three. I've got his name and, on and here. And it I don't either. Yeah. And, guys, we got an update here that may shock some people, and it may not. Letcher Central leads Shelby Valley 16 to nothing. Oh, wow. That's very shocking. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Now here comes Holbrook, true freshman, guys. David, this kid can sling it. He sure can. Oh, room. big sack. Listen, somebody. That was Landon Joseph with the sack for Leslie County. Somebody better get in there and guard these linebackers. <laughs> They're everywhere, yeah. huh? David, uh, these lids here at Leslie County has – they are nice. Got yep. the number on one side and the yep. eagle on the other. Yeah, um, I forget his name, but one of the coaches designed that. Um, uh, I forget his name. I remember he designed that last year, and I just love how clean it was. Yeah, it's nice. Leslie County, the fighting Tim Couches. Yeah. You got your score. It's a 7-0. Leslie County up. With one, with 4.34 to go in the first quarter. Holbrook's going to bring the play back to the huddle here. And uh, right now, David, he's still on that offensive line. Guys, you got to help me out here. Give me some room. Yeah, <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a penalty on the play. Why is it coming back? It was on the offense. I don't know what it was, though. I don't either. I didn't. I didn't see the official call it. Did I, you? No, -uh. that's why I was saying I didn't. Yeah. Ball's going to be on the 27-yard line. The 26-yard line. Oh, Jason there. Lewis says Justin Collett designed the helmets. Justin, guess who exactly yep. it was? Appreciate it. 
Jace, uh, but no. call it, yeah, Coach Call it. He and he phenomenal with it. They they tapped on five more. Oh wow! Man, I don't know. Yo, Hobart, he's gonna sling it out. That's Kane Patton with the reception. Kane Patton, you know, he's he's been involved heavy in the offense early on here. You can tell he's one of Bryce Patton's favorite targets. Yeah. Quick update. Rethick County just went down and scored. Going to cut the Belfry lead to 14 to 6 at the moment. Guys, 14, I'm sorry, 14 7. Guys, we want to thank real quick our gracious sponsors Conley Brothers Giovanni's, a pharmacy, brick house, and last but not least, the folks at East Kentucky Gun and Pond. Sends it off. There it is. It's Eight. Colin Hatfield again. I'm going to tell you what, fellas, that this, this Leslie County defense, they're 11 hats to the ball. That was <laughs> yes, Jaden Hacker. And uh, Jaden Hacker, guys, he's a stud on the hardwood, too. And he just come up and laid a big hit. Yeah. You know, you, this Leslie County group, you can tell they practice tackling. Absolutely. That's <laughs> you know what, what I'm mean? saying. They're, they get to the ball. Great form tackle, you know. Uh, this has been a, a great display of both squads on this offensive side of the ball, too. Uh, but Leslie County's defense has really stuck out to me uh, thus far. Like, uh, there's been a spotlight of it. Go, Hobart. I'm really impressed with this Preston Bird offense. Just just all the, the movement and, and all that. And yeah, the only thing that's struggling is the line. Guys, you know who got that big sack? Yes, sir. <laughs> OQ on, yeah. the, on the hit. And, Bryce Pugh with and, another sack. And hats off to uh, Leslie County defensive coordinator. You know, anytime you got a freshman in there, you know you want to bring the bring the boys because you want to rattle him. Yep. And uh, they're doing a pretty good job at that. Yeah, because a veteran quarterback would have probably got rid of the court, the ball right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's in the so bit, you know, it's, yeah. he's a freshman, you know, first freshman game. There's going to be a learning curve yeah, with him. Absolutely. But I tell His you, make no mistake, this yeah. kid is going to be great. He's the real deal, baby. Yeah. He's going to be, if not already, he's, I know for a fact he's the top in his class. Ron Davidson says, onward Leslie from Buffalo Mountain. Here you go, Hobart. Hands it off. That's Jacob Rose up the middle. I tell you, Jacob Rose has ran the ball hard, Dave. He sure has. Listen, just about everything that's happened positive for Prestonsburg has happened in the hands of Jacob, Jacob Rose. Absolutely. Guys, hit that like and share button. Please get them numbers up for us and uh, let these boys know where you're watching from and who you're rooting for. You're watching the Mountains, number one source for sporting news, the D&D Sports Network. I know it hurt him pretty bad. Nick Kidd, he got hurt. He's still over on the sideline, too. Yeah, they've had a couple of injuries right now. You can see the score, top right-hand corner of your screen on the double-quick scoreboard. Yep, it's been a, that's, a, that's a tough lick, having Nick out like that. And, uh, and this has been a great game, fellas. <laughs> a turnover on downs. That's going to be on the 16-yard line. Hand it off. It's Maggard. Yep, Maggard trying to get to the sideline. Prestonsburg corrals him at about the 26-yard line. It's going to be a gain of about 10, David. Yeah, that's a, that's a good defensive play there, too. Good run. They gave him eight on the play. Yeah. You know, and the thing was, a lot of people – I say a good defensive play for the simple fact that that was a touchdown if they didn't get that. <laughs> that was one yeah. person to beat. <laughs> that was a good stop. Yeah, a lot of people was uh, counting Leslie County out, and uh, they was like, the IP Berg's going to run over them. Uh, I just don't know where they was getting at. I mean, undoubtedly. There's Pew. Yes, Pew he first carry of the day. Here he goes. Oh, stiff arm. Oh. Nice block. He got blew up. Here comes Pew. And he's still going. Touchdown, <laughs> Eagles. I believe we got a block in the back, guys, back here midfield. That's going to come back. Man, that kid runs what strong. A block. Oh, <laughs> Lord. I know one thing. They better be lucky that the ref didn't see that. Guys, p has got a guy off his helmet off. That looks like Rose, Jacob Rose. Oh, uh, that would be That's a big good. loss. That would be. No, hopefully he's okay. Yeah, he's kind of jogging off. He kind of hopefully just wind it. You know? Yeah. And I'll tell you, that was a nice run by Pew. <laughs> God, yeah, right up the gut. Go 
Let's see what the penalty is. David, the uh, Prestonsburg has been on face the – Personal uh, foul, face uh, mask. Prestonsburg has been on the wrong Doug. side of some nasty stiff arms Absolutely. throughout uh, history. Yeah, Doug Jr. <laughs> Doug Jr. the one that set that tone. Yeah, they uh, – uh, they, uh, they, uh, I guess they got him for a face mask and the, the defensive player. You hmm. can't you can get a face mask if you throw it stiff form. You grab the mask. That's an offensive face mask. Yeah, I didn't I didn't pay attention whether he grabbed it. I, I know he yeah. hits a stiff arm. He still got a first down on the play. What a run by Hugh or Pew. All that running, Darren. He only gets credit for four. Yeah. yeah. So it uh, has the coach for the middle 19. school Eagles and assistant for the high school. There goes Collette. Oh, he got right. what a hit. That, that was number 42. Wow. That was a lick by Weston Harris. Weston Harris, he, David talked about him before the game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, hey, he's a stud. You hear me? I absolutely, I mean, I absolutely. Love that kid. He he's worked so hard this off season to get to where he's at too. He yep. just he's a definition of hard work, you know. Okay, he's the coach for the uh, middle school and assistant for the high school. Yep, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back with second quarter action here on the Citizens Bank Game of the Week. Hi everybody, Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. Do you want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast, it's easy, all you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. This is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia. By now you know Kia is a great vehicle, and you know they come with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. So why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're going to change your oil for free for life. And what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia Sorento. Only at Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville. Or shop us online at BruceWaltersKia.com. The world we are living in is changing. But one thing Eastern Kentucky can count on is quality, affordable homes from Hilton Sales. Beautiful, spacious, and many different floor plans to choose from, Hilton Sales has a financing option for anyone. So come by and see us at Hilton Sales. We're family owned for over 40 years. Back here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Right now, Leslie County leads the Prestonsburg Black Cats seven to nothing as we kick off the second quarter. Daryl McCoy, Justin McCoy, and David Jones on the call tonight. 16 to six, Letcher up on Shelby Valley to start the second quarter. Here comes Magger. Yep. It's good defense that time by Prestonsburg. You, it seems like these last couple plays uh, after that long pew run that Prestonsburg is starting to calm down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, now, Belfry, Josh Murphy says, what's going on with Belfry? He said they had two uh, passing. John Murphy said they got two passing touchdowns already, David. Because they heard you on the, on our crunch time <laughs> talking about their QBs. <laughs> said that he ain't going to pass a lot. <laughs> yeah, and, and listen, at the end of the day, you know, people, you know, the kid was ranked 13th out of 62 teams. That's pretty dang good, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Collette's looking. Nobody open. Here he comes. Yeah. He's going to be pushed out shy of the 50 about the 47-yard line. We got Jason Lewis says, I always love listening to you guys call the games. David and Daryl, it's always a great show. So glad football is back in the mountains, but I enjoy when you call the game uh, together, guys. Appreciate it, man. We we think we're the A team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eric Smith says, uh, first two of many QB is a young assassin with speed uh, and able to throw. I agree. There you go, Colette. Lining up in the gun, seeing Hoskins in motion. 
Oh, here he goes, running behind Maggard. That's a nice defensive play if they can get him down. I see that. Nice Yo, defense. That is big Logan time Stumbo defense. closes it out. That was number 70 and number 51 in on the tackle, Justin. That was, that was Daniel Adams. Daniel Adams and that Bryce was. Bryce Patton. Yep. That was good contained, Dave, on yeah. that outside. Listen, I, I, it made me so excited I forgot to tell you, say their name. <laughs> I appreciate it, Daryl. Wow, Pike for up 34 to 12 over Pulaski County. Wow. <laughs> hey, no surprise. No baby. surprise. No surprise, baby. Guys, that's my team. I mean, no surprise. They'll be back at Kroger Field, my opinion. No, heck yeah, they will. <laughs> yeah, I think the only one in their way is Raceland. Yep. It's going to be interesting to see that one. They play Ashland tonight. If you got scores from that, let us know, folks. There you go. Hobart hands it off. Oh, fumble on the field. But that's going to be number 21. That was number 21. That will be Jacob Rose. Yeah, he fell on it. He recovered the fumble. That's great. That is really great field awareness. That could have been very dangerous, you know. We got some Alex Harris fans tuning in here, Sharon Fuller says. Oh, that's a final. Pockford wins. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank that's, you, Lewis. That's not surprising. No. Isaac Duty, number four ranked quarterback in the mountains. Nice run. He got to the sideline. He's going to pick up nine, David. That was number five on the carry. They yes, sir. That's down. Hatfield, Colin Hatfield. And are they going to give him that first? It's going to be third and one. Third, third and a short one at that. Guys, want to thank the folks. East Kentucky Gun and Pond, a pharmacy. Brickhouse, Conley Brothers Giovanni's for sponsoring tonight's game. Right there's a good sign. We got Rose back in the game. Oh, there he goes. Rose still on his feet. He gets to the edge. Wow, guys, he runs that ball hard. What a run. Nice extra effort. He kept driving. That's a run. He's going to get down. Looks like about the 24, but he's down again, David. Yep. Yeah, he was shaking up early, and now he's down again, guys. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, they're getting him up there. Now, guys, don't forget, D&D &D Sports Network, Leslie County fans, is now 100% in the 14th region. We cover the entire 14th region now. So, Leslie County, you're going to be getting a lot more action on the D&D &D Sports Network. If you are a Leslie County homer, make sure you keep sending the stats and info on the kids the, uh, so we can make sure we promote them in the right way. And uh, we look forward to being down there with our buddy John Noble. That, absolutely. I'm excited to get down here, down there, man. Yep. That's a great, rich football history, basketball, all that. Guys, Rose is out. Hatfield's in the backfield. Oh, bro. Oh. Nice positive play. That's yep. Dalton Elliott, number two with the catch. Big play by Elliott. Jason Lewis says, Leslie is my team and my next team is Hazard because of Dan Howard said, has an amazing coach and amazing person. Duty went, Isaac Duty went 14 for 17, 176 yards in the win. That's big time. I like to see, I like to know how our man uh, Boykins did. Well, guys, we can't uh, cover these players without our sponsors, so please make sure you frequent our sponsors you see on the scroll. There's Holbrook lined up in the gun. He's got two to his right, David. He hands it off. Hatfield. Yeah, he's going to pick up about two on the play. Preston Bird is starting to click, Coach. Uh, I keep saying Coach because I'm around Coach <laughs> yeah. all day. But I do got a Coach. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hey, I coach AAU. I know, I've coached. I, I, That's right. I forgot LeBron. Y'all <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, know LeBron's coach. Yeah, they're calling me at Bob. Quit hating, man. Quit hating. Maggie Adams, Pace Sale, says thank you for covering Leslie. Listen, guys, if you want uh, more coverage, make sure the businesses reach out to D&D &D Sports because we need sponsors in your area to give these kids the coverage they deserve. Oh, quick snap nice. to number 10. Yeah. That's Alex Harris. But I think he got stopped, no game. Direct snap to Harrison. 
Hey, they gave him a yard. Uh, Leslie County sniffed that one out. I'll tell you what, Prestonburg got hit, uh, got hit with a uh, with the injury bug there, man, and it really took a f effect on their runners. I mean, the big yeah. dollars, their runners, you know. And why is Harris still in there? He's still. They run the wall. Wildcat with Harris. Oh, he got it. That's why he's still in the quarterback. Touchdown. Alex Harris gets the TD for the Black Cats. What a nice run straight up the gut by Alex Harris. Right when I asked why he was still in the game, we found out. I knew, I knew why he was in there. I said it the last. All he had to do was cut back. It was wide yeah. open. And he showed good effort by staying on this. That field. was that's, nice, that's, guys. That's they stuck with that Wildcat two yeah, plays in a row. That was an athletic move. Great job by Coach Brewer now. 7.57 to go here in the second quarter. Prestonsburg strikes and gets on the board. 7-6. Leslie County leads Prestonsburg as we're going to have the extra point. And guys, I believe no, they're, they're, they're going to go for two. two. They're going for two? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. And they're going to take a quick timeout oh, to talk about this one. So as they take a timeout, we will too. We'll be right back here on the Citizens Bank Game of the Week. Come by and see us at East Kentucky Gun and Pond. We have handguns, rifles, bows, TVs, video games, guitars, and more. Anything you need under one roof right here at East Kentucky Gun and Pond. Proud supporter of the Prestonsburg Black Cats and all mountain athletes. Trailhead Bar and Grill in Maywarm, West Virginia is making sure trail riders and locals are staying happy and full. One thing's a guarantee at Trailhead is great food and great service. Come watch your favorite ball game, have a party, or we'll host your events at Trailhead Bar and Grill. Proud supporter of the Mingo Central Miners and all mountain athletes. Them too. Yep. And we are back here. Intake. Can y'all hear me now? Right. Yeah, Mic check, Mic check. Let's see if we can get David's mic going here, guys. Let us know if you can hear David. Rose is back in the game, guys, and he's in there. Nice run there. And guess who it was? He come back in the game and Jacob did Rose. Things. Jacob Rose. What a rush there, Prestonsburg. You can see Coach Brewer meeting them on the sideline. Listen, I can tell you, if there's one coach that is a player's coach, it's Coach Brandon Brewer. You will see him out there, hip button helmets. And I mean, this, this dude's for real. Any player would want to play for Brandon Brewer. That's why I said Coach Brewer. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and, and just to talk to the coach, man, he, he just, I mean, an excellent guy. I, I love getting to talk chat with him. We talked about him several for several years now, and the first time actually getting to meet him in person. Um, what a heck of a coach he is. And he's he's got this uh, Prestonburg uh, program ticking right now. Lewis Ratliff says you can hear David. Lewis says Boykins had two punt returns for 155 yards and about 60 yards receiving. Said a few yards on the ground, a couple of touchdowns. Wow. For, That's no surprise. No, Tavion Boykins having a big night for the Pikeville Panthers as they knock off Pulaski County. He is who we think he is. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. And I think I think everybody was was wondering, you know, I know Pikeville did this and that, but what are they going to do when they graduated that line? Yeah, you know? yeah. So That's every, what, yeah. everybody's was wanting to know, like, yeah, he got talent around him, but what he's going to do? And I'm gonna tell you, you know, um, they it, it doesn't matter. They got they they got skill over there. They got talent over there. That you know, was the, and, and Brad Allen, Coach Allen's going to always have that offensive line ticking, guys. Absolutely. Well, and that's the thing on both sides of the trenches. And you got Sullivan, man. Paul on the defensive side, coaching it up at Pikeville. Yes. It's always <laughs> good time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Number six. Oh, he's, got, oh! he's got room. He's, he's across the 40, 40 the 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Dalton Baker. He took it to the house. And there is no laundry on the ground, folks. Wow, what a wow. Run. And that is a backbreaker if you're Prestonsburg after at putting that long drive yep. together. And then they strike that quick, man. Yes. Man, Dalton Baker got that ball and he was gone. Listen, I seen it to open it. You're about to see what Prestonsburg is made of because see if they can respond. That, that could be a backbreaker or it could be something that makes you stronger. 
Jimmy Johnson says, good luck on your upcoming season, David. Hey, I appreciate that, Jimmy, big time. Wow, what a ball game we got here. 13 to eight, Leslie oh. County leads Prestonsburg. Leslie County's gonna go for two. Been a good one. And they're going for two, David. First time. Oh, oh. that might change their mind yeah. right there. There's gonna be movement on the offensive line. That was number 56. Jumped a little early. A little quick update, Belfry 28, Breathitt County 6. Wow. Second quarter with 6.15 to go. Real quick, guys, you're watching tonight's game, courtesy of Huff Pharmacy, the Brickhouse, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, and the folks that eat Kentucky, Gannon and Pond. Nice grab. Yes, it yeah. was. Good. Wow. David, what a reception. Hey. That was Dalton Baker, guys, the one that just had the uh, kick return for a TD. And, David, that's the guy that you was talking about, the yeah, receiver, yeah. beforehand. Yeah, he's, a, he's a stud. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back here on the Citizens Bank Game of the Week. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side by side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit Kiefer'sPowerSports.net. We are back here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Leslie County strikes on a long kickoff return and makes it 15 to eight right now. We got Justin McCoy, David Jones, and Daryl McCoy on the call tonight. <laughs> Leslie County leading Prestonsburg, 15 to eight. Call Maggard says, what's up guys? Keep up the good work. Call Maggard, we appreciate all your help. Absolutely, big time. Appreciate you, man. We're going to have to re-kick it here. Kyle Magger, David, uh, played an integral part in bringing us to the 14th region. You know, he reached out wanting us to come and do his wrestling and, uh, you know, the connections that we got with Kyle. And, you know, he's helped uh, build some partners in the community and very blessed to have Kyle on our side. Absolutely. And, that, and that's huge for his uh, his community, uh, for the simple fact he understands. He yep. gets it. You know, and that's, and that's the hard part about, you know, getting people to understand the change now times, you know. And I'm going to tell you right right now, they're going to benefit very well because they have a squad that needs to be promoted big time. David, Jimmy Johnson says, was that David Jones in the Liberty Bowl with that return? Yeah, with the little <laughs> hitch and the giddy up. <laughs> he, uh, he didn't have that one, though. He didn't have the hitch. No. <laughs> he straight strided that out. You still hold the uh, record, right? I sure do, Liberty man. Liberty Bowl record. There you go. Kickoff is in the air. It's Osborne. Hatfield recovers it. And Prestonsburg will start their drive at the 41. Yeah, so far. Prestonsburg, they put a long drive together, took some time off the clock, and uh, they need the same kind of drive right here, David, to close out the half. Yes, sir. Can't leave any time for Landry Collette and the Eagles. Uh, Amberly Wood says go 32 and 51. They get the pressing bird to get the ball at halftime also. Kyle says Somerset's up 21 to 7 over Perry Central. 
There you go. Here Hand goes off. Rose. Yep. Oh, I tell you, man, here he goes. He's got a first down and a few more. Picks up about 14 on the play. Going to get into Leslie County territory. Oh, Maggard, thank you for that update. Keep them coming, guys. Keep us updated on scores around the region. So Somerset leads 21 to 7 over Perry Central in the first half. It's not a surprise. I know, you know, Somerset, um, they got a big dog coach and Coach Clevenger to come down from Danville, and uh, I think he's going to get that train back on the track. Lewis Ratliff says, how much speed have you lost since your playing days, David? Um, a whole lot. <laughs> a whole lot. There you go. Holbrook in the gun. He's going to sling it out. Oh! Oh! Nice play right there. That's a nice throw right there. Nice play by the defense. Just a Just little off. out of reach. Little out of reach. Get his tip hand. And hit his uh, hand tip. Now Alex Harris cannot bring it in but great defense by leslie the two defenders was right there but alex harris had a step on him yeah he did i, I like how that db played up top he didn't um that was simpson rylan broke yeah, it up yeah he didn't have he didn't he didn't panic put it yeah. that way and that's great in the db when you don't panic Well, Mr. Here Rickson. goes Rose. Yep, Rose cuts up the middle. He's got space. He's across the 26-yard line. I tell you, this Rose kid has had a phenomenal outing so far. <laughs> he, he sure has. <laughs> or the Black Cats. He sure has. Six forty-eight to go here in the second quarter. You're watching the Citizens Bank game of the week here on the D and D Sports Network, guys. Please hit that like and share button. Quick strike. Oh. Yeah. Dalton Elliott thought about running before he caught that one. Yeah. That's it. You got to yep. bring it in. Yep. Guys, loaded crowd here tonight as the fans have really showed up. Black Cap faithful here in full force. And uh, the Eagle fans traveled well, David. Absolutely. Leslie County has a lot of fans here in the stands. We appreciate that very much. Send us a tape tell what time it is over at your station this day. Hands off. Hatfield. Yeah, he gets to the corner and he's finally ridden down after a pickup of about five on the play. It's number 18 on the tackle. That was a big play to, to get to that third down right there. Now they got a, a better shot of getting that first down here in the red zone. That's big. I want to thank the administration, Ricky Thacker and Brandon Kidd, for having us here tonight. Yeah, all, they're always a blessing when we come over here, man. Very, very, very personal with us. You know, great guys, great men. And we love Anna Shepard and our relationship with her. Mm -hmm. It works well for the students. Absolutely. There you go. Over it. Oh, oh, strike. And that would be, yeah, I was about to say that that's going to look like rough in the passer. Look like roughing the passer. That will be an automatic first down for the Black Cats. Tom Maggard says, don't forget Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, September 9th, live on D&D. &D. Said front, Jackson, first Kentucky. Down, roughing the passer. Guys, I like it, Appalachian uh, Wrestling. There, I went and watched it over at Pikeville, man. It was, yeah, well, I love it. My I, kids loved it. Yeah, yeah, I love that. It's awesome. Listen, it's good family fun. I Man, wish, I they wish were. We had that coming up. You know? Yes. Well, you're going to have it on D and D Sports Network, yeah. thanks to uh, our partnership with Kyle Maggard and AMW. Hey, Kyle, if hey, if you ever need a uh, a, a Booker T, I'm your guy. <laughs> Just call me. Call me Booker Jones. <laughs> More like Doink the Clown. Oh, Doink was, he was good. <laughs> Doink was good. Hatfield around the right side. Oh, he cuts it back. Nice run. That's about a six-yard gain. 
Out of the pew in on the tackle. Guys, the, uh, what a beautiful city here in Prestonsburg. Oh, yeah. You know, the, one of my favorite places, you know, it's now I'm blessed to call this my hometown. Yeah. It's always been a nice place up here, going up to the beautiful Stone Crest. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go, Hobart in the gun. He's gonna oh, no. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that Leslie could have County. been bad right there. Yeah, Leslie County was all over that one. Guys, Rose had negative two. That's his first negative carry of the night. And it was a dangerous in that second handoff because uh, the Eagle defense was right there at him. Yeah, that, uh, Kyle, let us know who uh, the uh, next uh, few shows that you got in wrestling. Put it in the comment section for the fans at home. There you go, Holbrook. He's got the back in the backfield with him. Oh, he had him. In. Got to get rid of it. Yep. Nah, no, no, no. You got to get rid of that. You got to throw yeah. it away, don't you, Dave? Yeah. Yeah, David, that, that's just, yeah, that, I mean, that's immaturity. Right, that's freshman. freshman. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the co coaches over there telling him stuff. That's that's tough on a young guy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, you could see it coming. You yeah. Know, he's got he's got to take and throw that one away, get out of the pocket, throw it away. You know, you get in trouble when you try to make something out of right. nothing like that. But that's what the film room's for, ain't it, Dave? Yeah. He watches that. He'll get yeah. better. Oh, yeah. He's only going to get better as time goes. Listen, I put my money on this kid. You and I both. He's going to have a bright future. Three fifty-four to go here in the second quarter. It's Leslie County on top, fifteen to eight. You're watching the Citizens Bank game of the week here on the D&D Sports Network. Three forty-four left here in the first half, and we've got a whistle and we've got a timeout. But we're going to timeout Leslie yeah. County. They're going to take a quick timeout. We'll jump out too. We'll be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. As you see the Black Cat cheerleaders trying to get the crowd up and on their feet, David, as you're watching the Citizens Bank Game of the Week. Kevin Brown says at halftime you'll get to see the world-famous Dance Cats. Oh, I can't wait. We will you yeah. will get to see that here. Yeah, we'll, st we'll stick around for that. Appreciate you letting us know. We always uh, big fans of the Dance Cat. There we go, Hobart in the gun. And, you know, David, that might be, too, you know, I mean, Brewer's probably seen this team in practice, and that may be why we've seen Alex Harris come in that last drive, you know, just, you know, just try to limit mistakes yeah. at big moments. Right. You're absolutely right there. That's a big-time uh, penalty yeah. right there to help them get a little bit closer. Yeah, it's going to be fourth and 16 for the Black Cats. So they pretty much got to get in the end zone here. Hobrook's looking. He's got him. Oh, yes, he does. He's, go he's going to be shy, though. Oh, Dalton Elliott with a yeah. nice grab. He's going to be about three yards shy, but the good thing, David, is yep. it puts Leslie County in a tough spot with their backs against the wall. Yep. And guys, Pew with a big stop right there. Yeah, big he stop. He was right on that ball. He was three yards shy. So Leslie County will take over. Looks like on the the five-yard line. 
Lisa Hilton says, woohoo, she said, go Dance Cats. We want to thank our friends at Hilton Homes of Ival. If you're going to buy a home, buy it from Hilton Homes. Proud sponsor of tonight's game. Oh, he's still on his feet, and he is ridden down. That was number 42 on the tackle for the Black Hats. That was number 42 of my man, Big Winston Harris. Winston has had himself a game, though, too, girl. Yeah, I've, I've seen him make several big-time blocks on the offensive side of the ball, man, and that's huge. That's the one. Prestonsburg got Weston Harris back. They got a prize. Absolutely. Here, guys, they're under center, Dave. And he goes nowhere on that play. Nice defense and on the play you by Prestonsburg. you got to understand, too, that's, some, that's a lot of time on that clock right now, too. There is. You know I mean? If you're Prestonsburg, you know, you just, you know, you got to you gotta keep them out of the end zone. Yep. Here. Can't let, you know, can't get behind two scores going into the locker room. That would kill momentum. Yeah. They get the ball coming back out at half, so yeah. they can get a good stop here and hold the ball going to halftime, regroup, and get out here and try to get a, a nice uh, drive together. Oh, he still keeps them feet churning, and he's going to get a first down, David. Nice rush there. Dalton Maggard again. Dalton Maggard has had himself a night here in this first half. He's running the ball really well he for has. the Eagles. Big time. There's Landry Collette. Out of the shadow of the own goal. You're going to line up in the gun. Twins left and right, one back in the back. You've got twins on both sides. Preston like Bird's going to take a timeout. They're going to try to save some time on that clock. They'll take a timeout. We will too. We'll be right back here on the DD Sports Network. Stop spending your money at the big box store and come to East Kentucky Gun and Pond. Get everything you've been looking for at a better price. East Kentucky Gun and Pond has guns, TVs, game systems, collectibles, and more. Come see us, located conveniently in the town of Prestonsburg. East Kentucky Gun and Pond, we're looking forward to seeing you. The world we are living in is changing. But one thing Eastern Kentucky can count on is quality, affordable homes from Hilton Sales. Beautiful, spacious, and many different floor plans to choose from, Hilton Sales has a financing option for anyone. We're back here, Colette slings it to the left side and we'll pick up about six on the play. David, if you're gonna go buy a home there's no other place to buy it than with Hilton Homes. Be part of the winning team. Absolutely. You know, Hilton Homes of Ival is something, is a name you've heard for many years. You know, they do a great job supporting all mountain athletes and uh, just great people there at Hilton Homes of Ival. It's always great having people like that to go in and try to buy your future, you know. It is. That, that's a blessing. I can remember going, trying to find stuff down in the city, man. They're not personable or anything like that. But it's very, I mean, I, I'll spend money if, if it's personable to me, you know. Listen, Jamie's from Betsy Lane mm -hmm. and Lisa's from Feds Creek. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're two of the best people you'll ever meet in your life. That's awesome. Now, uh, we got a score. Speaking of Betsy Lane, I'm sure Jamie will like this. Betsy Lane defeats Berea 37 to nothing. Yes, sir. Belfry, Belfry's up on Breathitt County 35 to 6 in the second wow. quarter. Wow. Timeout, Prestonsburg. We'll stay here during this timeout. Guys, this is big right here. They need to really uh, get a stop. You know, don't need to let Leslie go in and score another score before the half. No, they, uh, real quick, guys, want to thank Conley Brothers Giovanni's. 
Hilton Homes of Ival, Brick House, East Kentucky Gun and Pond, and Huff Pharmacy. Huff Pharmacy located at the bottom of Walmart Hill in Prestonsburg. A new pharmacy that treats you like their neighbor, David. Yeah, I like that. And we I like, actually I love local pharmacies. I don't you know, these big chains come in here to try to take over. Go and support your locals. That's it. Yep. The uh, David we got actually we'll send Justin out uh, to the D and D mobile at the half and grab uh, them shirts. We got some Huff Pharmacy shirts to give away oh, yeah. to some fans at home, so make sure you stay tuned in as we're going to have free T-shirt giveaway coming up in the second half. Daryl McCoy, Justin McCoy, and David Jones on the call here. David Jones. The only uh, Hatfield in the building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> the heck with the Hatfields. <laughs> it's I, all right. I can't say that because Colin Hatfield out there has had himself <laughs> yeah, a exactly. game so far. He played really well for the Black Cats. There you go. Nice little screen pass over to the right side. And Maggard, he gets out of bounds. He's going to stop the clock with 1.15 to go. Guys, crunch time is back. The number one high school football show in the state of Kentucky and the mountains of West Virginia. You can watch it every Wednesday night, but this week we will be live on Sunday or Saturday. No, uh, Sunday, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go Colette. Lined up in the gun. He's going to keep Caper. it. Yeah. He's across the 40. Down to about the 44-yard line. Clock. It stopped. It's 106 to go. Colette. Rose to the opposite side, and he and here's a quick slings Oh, down. incomplete. Yeah. But either way, David, that stops the clock. So. Yeah. That's, in, that's the Black Cat's favor right there. We'll probably see Lesson County try to run this clock out a little bit now. Or maybe they may try to take a, what do we got, second and ten, may take a shot right here. Lisa Hilton says, thank you, Daryl. You're great people yourself. She says, uh, get the ball back, Black Cats. Lewis Rattler says, LC up 16 to 12. Lawrence, or that uh, Letcher Central up 16 to 12 over Shelby Valley. That would be a big win for Coach Junior Matthews early in the season. Oh, oh no. Yep. Oh, Fumble. Oh, and, oh. and they get it back. Yeah. I believe Preston Burns ball. Yep. And they got a lot of time on that clock to score. And look who it was, Logan Stumbo. That's his second. Uh, he's got an interception and a fumble recovery, yeah. David. Hey, and, and I'm going to tell you this, girl. If I'm if I miss Hilton, I'm gonna I'm gonna comment every time because as soon as she commented, <laughs> boom, it yeah. turned over for her Black Cats. Yeah, uh, and they got good field position, David. They're going to start the uh, drive. Looks like on the 28 yard line. Now, if you're Leslie County and uh, Mr. Pugh, you have got to come up bigger out here with a big stop. You cannot let Prestonsburg get any momentum by scoring the football here. All right. It's going to be a time, you, and, and Preston Burger aren't starting the clock. You know, if they get something, I would run. If I'm going to pass the ball, I'm going to pass it towards the sideline so I can get out of balance. Yep. Yep. So I don't have to use my timeouts Guys, right watch, now. Watch out for number two, Elliot. Yeah, Hobart drops back. He airs it out. He was looking for Elliot. Yeah. I tell you, man, he was open if that ball was yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, you know, and, and you could tell he was throwing it to a yeah, spot yeah. instead of his receiver. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, David, and, and is, is that a sign of a young quarterback when they throw it to their spots yeah. instead of? Yeah, it is because, you, you know, younger quarterback, they tend to throw it behind yeah. instead of, you know, to the spot. Yeah. So, it, you know, it, it's, a, it's a regular thing. Yeah. I tell you what, he's look he's looked very poised back there though. There you go. 
Colbert, he's going to roll to his right. Right there. Yeah, he's got to throw it out. Oh, he's still on his feet. He's still up and brought down. They're going to need to get a timeout right here. Yeah. Then he, uh, he got back and looks like uh, only lost a yard on the play. Guys, they need to hurry. They need no. to stop the clock. They, he got back to the line of scrimmage, yeah. They huddled up. Elliot, get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Uh, and he does. Now they got a chance for the end zone. They, they throw one to the end zone. Or... Now, Dave, do you like that right there uh, where they took so much time? I believe I would have rushed up and spiked it. Well, if, if they – I don't know. If they didn't have any timeouts, I would have. Right. Yes. Um, and then I would have tried to take a shot. You know, it was third down on yes. that down too. So, it's going to be fourth down. So, it's, it's you know – it's kind of hard. I'm not sure where many timeouts or what timeouts. That's me, yeah. You know. And here, yeah. But that's a tough situation again, and you gotta hurry up. But it's the first game of the season, right. and probably so you know don't got Leslie a lot. Leslie County is gonna burn one of theirs here. Oh, that's the smart thing too, too. Don't let it, don't get beat deep. <laughs> see the, uh, I, I, see I, uh, man. Of course, you're the you're the resident coach on staff here. But myself, I don't know if I would have uh, called one and gave him a chance to draw something up here. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with uh, you know making sure your defense is is ready and and not falling asleep. You yeah. Know? So I, I understand on that point. There's uh, some of the hardest workers in the house. That's the Leslie County cheerleaders. You guys, make sure you stick around at the half for the world famous Dance Kittens. Tonight's game is sponsored by Hilton Homes of Ival. Conley Brothers Giovanni's, the Brick House, East Kentucky Gun and Pond, and Huff Pharmacy. We ask everybody to frequent them businesses if it wasn't for them. We cannot do this game and, and give it to you uh, while you can sit at home and watch it for free. Guys, Lisa Fuller Hilton says touchdown Black Cats going to happen <laughs> right here. Yeah, let's see. Hobart. He airs it out. To Elliott. He's got a man. He oh, intercepted. picked off. Yeah. And that's going to be Collette, Landry Collette, on the interception. And that will end the half. Prestonsburg will go into the locker room trailing 15 to 8. We'll take a quick break and we'll come right back with the dance kittens or dance cats. Yes. The world we are living in is changing, but one thing Eastern Kentucky can count on is quality, affordable homes from Hilton Sales. Beautiful, spacious, and many different floor plans to choose from, Hilton Sales has a financing option for anyone. So come by and see us at Hilton Sales. We're family owned for over 40 years. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. We're and back, guys. Yes, we are here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, as we got the world famous Dance Cats here getting ready to do their routine. David. Here we go. Here they go, Daryl. Yeah, let's see what kind of routine they got here, okay. Justin. Yeah. Let's see. Nice music solution. Oh, okay. 
Now, there they are, you know, in line with the, oh, nice form. That's a good leg stretch there. Oh, yeah. Listen, they're, they're all in, uh, they're all in, uh, I guess, uh, they got great connection out there. You know, they're all moving at the same pace. The uh, nice stretch of the arm. Yep. They're looking good. Yeah, ooh, a little spin of Rooney. A little ball fake. I tell you, Darrell, they got a lot of good things going over here at Prestonsburg. They do, and the Dance Cats is one of the best. I mean, people come from all around to be a part of this. You see the cheerleaders here uh, cheering them on, and this is an awesome sight. Look at that. Yeah, man, that's, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. And that's what it is. These girls put in the work, man. I mean, that, these girls are, when I talk, they're nationally known. You know, the Dance Cats is a big deal here in Prestonsburg. Yo, oh, got good height on the kick there. You can tell it's early in the season. The, uh, uh, these girls, man, they're they're going to by the end of the season. Oh wow! Yeah, it's nice ending there. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah I'm like you, Daryl. By the end of the season, man, these girls are going to be very good. Yeah, I mean, uh, right there. I mean, you know, judging them, they didn't. I would say uh, if I had to rate them, I'd probably give them a A minus. Mm, yeah. You know, so I've I seen a, a couple times, you know, that I can nitpick and say, hey, you know, well, right there, you know, she, you know, uh, may not have spun at the same time as her partner, but, you know, just uh, it, it was uh, good chemistry there from the Black Cats for the most part. I give them an A minus. What do you give them, Justin? No, I definitely, I have to give them, I'd give them an A. You're giving them an A? I'd give them an A. Right. The, uh, now, Not as, an A plus, but you yeah. know. Justin, as uh, we sit here and talk about the first half, you know, Leslie County, you know, they come out and it looked like that they had all, you know, all the momentum on their side. Landry Collette was firing on all cylinders. And it took Prestonsburg, you know, there was a couple of injuries early on, and it just looked like uh, Leslie County was more physical. They was popping they Prestonsburg were. in the mouth, and Prestonsburg wasn't responding. Well, something happened there halfway through the first uh, quarter, and Prestonsburg, you know, finally uh, the light switch clicked, and they come out, finished the, set, or the first half out strong. Uh, they wasn't backing down. They was finally hitting Leslie County back. Yes. And, uh, and Harris broke out with that big 12-yard TD run. Alex Harris, and, uh, you know, that, that got them back on the board, and then Rose ran into a two-point conversion, and, you know, then it was eight to, eight to seven, you know, and then, you know, if it wasn't for the kick return, uh, they gave up the 80-yard kick return. You know, this is a one-point game. Prestonburg's ahead. Yeah. Well, they uh, – and that's the thing, you know, when you take a look, you know, you could just tell, like, you know, Prestonburg, this team, they got the pieces. You know, yes. And they got playmakers on both sides of the ball. But, you know, to me, it just looked like that it was a case of it being early in the season. Absolutely. And like you said, you know, Hobrook, he's a freshman out there playing quarterback. You know, he made a few freshman mistakes. Uh, but this team is going to be really good by the, you know, midseason. I really – I'm really impressed with Hobrook. Yeah. I – I took and uh, uh, yeah, Ho Hobrook. He's and one, man. and man Rose is a dog. Hobrook's one man when he takes and gets a little experience under him. Really, his only mistakes come from holding the ball too long. Yes. You know, uh, I mean, he didn't throw bad balls. No. You know, that last interception. I mean, that you no, throw that away. Yeah, that was something he had to throw up. That's and, like a punt, you know. Yeah, it happens all the time. You know, but 
Yeah, I, I agree. If, for Prestonsburg, it was the Rose kid that was the, you know, he oh, yes. was the big star. Him and Logan Stumbo. Logan Stumbo with two turnovers. The interception oh, big and interception, interception and the fumble, absolutely. Yeah, then uh, over for Leslie County, you know, Colette, you can see why the kid is the eighth-ranked quarterback in the mountains. I mean, this kid is the real deal, man. I mean, he he's poised. He don't make mistakes. He don't get rattled. And, you know, I want to see – how he continues to grow and this got, season. And, and, you know, he's only threw five passes, Darrell. Uh, he's completed four or five uh, for almost 50 yards. I mean, he's very consistent. He's ran the ball two times. Uh, well, he's ran the ball three times. I mean. And his lone mistake was that interception by Stumbo, and that was a tip pass. And that pass. was a tip pass. Yeah. Absolutely. That's his only mistake. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, great play right now. Uh from both squads, it's going to be interesting. This second half, I want to see how both of them respond. You know, Prestonsburg, obviously, you know, Coach Brewer going into the locker room, you know, you're going to have to tell your boys, you know, like, listen, you know, I mean, this is our home turf. They come here to play us. Absolutely, and you know. right now, they're looking like the more physical team, you know. So, you know, something's got to change there, and a big reason is the Pew Kid. The oh, yeah, the Pew Kid, and like I said, well, go back to Colette, too. He's also got about 15 yards rushing, touchdown on the yep. ground. Uh, like I said, he's throwing good. But now Pew is being a difference maker right now, you know, for Leslie County, in my opinion. You know, it's it's hard for Prestonburg to get anything going, you know, because Pew's everywhere. I agree. And, I mean, I've got him down, you know, he's probably got 10 tackles that first half. Uh He's just all over the field. Well, that's going to be very interesting. He uh, reminds me a lot, man. He, he's like a Ray Lewis, you know what I mean? I yep. mean, he's very smart. You can tell he's got a real uh, smart IQ for the game of football. Okay, as we're going to take real quick and uh, jump out, take a word from our sponsors. Guys, remember, when you leave tonight, make sure that you visit your good friends at your local Double Quick. We'll be right back. Let the folks at Double Quick help you start your 2022 off right. They've brought back the Bourbon Pecan Coffee for a limited time only. You can also quench your thirst with the great deals on fountain drinks they offer daily. Double Quick is your one-stop shop for everything. They offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can stop by one of their many storefront locations spread throughout eastern Kentucky. Stop by and let Double Quick make your day better. Hi everybody, Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. Do you want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast, it's easy, all you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. Trailhead Bar and Grill in Maplewood, West Virginia is making sure trail riders and locals are staying happy and full. One thing's a guarantee at Trailhead is great food and great service. Come watch your favorite ball game, have a party, or we'll host your events at Trailhead Bar and Grill. Proud supporter of the Mingo Central Miners and all mountain athletes. This is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia. By now you know Kia is a great vehicle and you know they come with a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. So why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're gonna change your oil for free for life. And what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia Sorento. Only at Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville or shop us online at brucewalterskia.com. Stop spending your money at the big box store and come to East Kentucky Gun and Pond. Get everything you've been looking for at a better price. East Kentucky Gun and Pond has guns, TVs, game systems, collectibles, and more. Come see us located conveniently in the town of Prestonsburg. East Kentucky Gun and Pond, we're looking forward to seeing you. Huff Drug is now open. 
If you're looking for somebody to take care of all your pharmaceutical needs, we are your guy. Huff Drug accepting new patients and most insurances. We have a drive through for your convenience. If you want a pharmacy that not only cares about you, but your community, come see us at Huff Drug, located at the foot of Walmart Hill in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. Stop spending your money at the big box store and come to East Kentucky Gun and Pond. Get everything you've been looking for at a better price. East Kentucky Gun and Pond has guns, TVs, game systems, collectibles, and more. Come see us located conveniently in the town of Prestonsburg. East Kentucky Gun and Pond, we're looking forward to seeing you. We are back here at Prestonsburg High School. <laughs> Here as Leslie County has jumped out to a 15 to eight lead over the Black Cats, we got Justin McCoy, David Jones, and Daryl McCoy on the call here. You're watching the Citizens Bank Game of the Week. David, as you're looking right now, we was talking there uh, uh, when you stepped away. You know, it looked like it took Prestonsburg about a half a quarter. You know, Leslie County, they come out and was popping Prestonsburg in their mouth. Mm -hmm. And it looked like, you know, thereafter, really after that Logan Stumbo interception, it looked like it settled the team down a little bit yeah. and Prestonsburg started playing ball after that. Yeah, it, it's tough, uh, you know, it, it's tough like that. But the, the thing that I've seen against Prestonsburg is they lost some of their big dogs. Yeah. Um, you know, you, I know you had some guys that come in to, to fill that void, but it's very hard. When you when you lose a vocal point of your of your team, you know, yeah. um, and then they gather themselves and you know they're clicking on all syllabus now. Um, you know those last several possessions that we've seen here at the end, those are basically rush plays. You know yeah. it's not really you know setting the plays up, getting them together. We're trying to get there and get get a score in. Uh, but a, the assessment on both sides, man, I'm thinking this is a heck of a defensive game um, and on both sides. Yeah, and they're they're playing good ball. Um, it, it's it's like a chess match between these these coordinators, and I love seeing that because that's when you know that these coaches can coach. Yeah, and you know as we talked, you know both teams getting stellar quarterback play out of their QBs. You know this Colette kid, he's the yeah. real deal, David. He I is. mean he's poised, he don't make mistakes, and the kid you can tell is a leader. He really is, Daryl. Uh, you know, he it's the first time I got to see him in person, and he's every bit of advertised. Yep. Um, and, and I'm excited that we're in that 14th region to advertise him because that young man, he is going to be he's going to be excellent on sun, on Saturday. He deserves it. He absolutely yes, does. Yep. Ooh, my lord! I'm sorry, guys. I, there's a bug just flew in the window. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, as we're sitting here uh, looking, they said uh, Belfry is up 35 to six at the half. And Woolham, Caden Woolham, uh, has four catches for 174 yards. Wow. Uh, Cottle has 76 yards on the ground. So uh, big plays there uh, by them two backs for Belfry as the Pirates go down to Jackson and look impressive here in week one. I, there are, I, I, we, we said that. We yep. knew, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and they had to go down there and jump on them like we said. You had to go down there and jump on them fast. Uh, yep. You know, uh, but the score that I that I'm really impressed at is is uh, Pipeville. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean Pipeville, you know, they come out with the victory. Um, and you know that's a very impressive five A school in Pulaski County. Oh yeah. Uh, so they, they just set a they just set the tone, hey, we know we graduated the big dogs and right and, 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 and all them big dogs uh, but Hey, we got some behind us that we're ready to go. Yeah, that's a powerful. I mean, that was a big win against Pulaski. Big statement. Big yeah. statement, guys. At a neutral site. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, right now, Letcher Central in a dogfight, 16-12 to 12 with Shelby Valley. And I figured that was going to be a dogfight. Yeah. We knew that. It was 
we done the game last year in week yes. one, and it, I mean, it was an air raid. Yes, it was. And, you know, I, I know uh, both coaches on both staffs, and uh, they're some heck of a coaches, man. They get that thing going. That's that's what I love about those games at the beginning of the year, you know. Yep. The uh, Real quick, guys, we got the Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau halftime update here is we got some scores going on around the area. We mentioned 35 to 6, Belfry over Breathitt right now. Then uh, we got Letcher Central up 16 to 12 over Shelby Valley. Ashland leads 21 to 13 over Raceland. We got Martin County up on Hazard 20 to nothing in Inez. Bath County and Fairview knotted up at six. Johnson Central leads Madison Central 14 to six. Painesville and Floyd Central tied at eight. Yeah, the, hey, you uh, called that, though. Yep, you uh, called that one. I ain't going to lie. You called that one. Yeah, that's Sean Hager, man. He, <laughs> I mean, it's just one of them years, man. Paintsville, you know, they're young. Right. And, uh, you know, I think Floyd Central has some playmakers. Yes, you know. sir. My goodness. You yeah. called that one. I give that to you. Russell on top of Mason County, and I almost got that one. <laughs> the, uh, but y'all changed my mind. And, uh, <laughs> what, what, what's that score? 21 to 8. Ooh, yep. baby. Russell on Mason County. Okay. Yeah, we got uh, Cold Grove on Greenup County, 28 to 14. Oh, we, I, I picked, uh, we all picked Green up on that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, Pikeville uh, over Pulaski, 34 to 12. Then we got Somerset leading Perry Central, 21 to 15. Perry Central keeping it close. Commodores oh, wow. and Kaiser Sloan trying to prove a point up there at their home field. And then we got West Carter and Pike Central tied at seven. West Carter and Pike Central yep. tied at seven. Yep. That's a big, that's a big game right there. We, I, I know it I is. went with Pike Central. Yep. And I went West Carter. Yeah. Yep. Boyd County leads 39 to seven over uh, South Point. Whoa. Um, that's a big, big upset. Yeah. So the. Uh, All right, Coach Ferguson. My yeah. bad, brother. Yeah. <laughs> we we uh, Leslie County, uh, of course, here leads 15 to eight. And I think that's going to do it. Betsy Lane, no Betsy Lane, defeated Berea 37 to nothing. Yeah, big big time win for Coach Girls there. Yeah. And so we over here at his old stomping grounds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that will uh, round out our scores there for the uh, Derek Bowling Kentucky Farm Bureau halftime update. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with second half coverage here on the D&D Sports Network Citizens Bank of Kentucky Game of the Week. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side-by-side? -side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan or visit Kiefer'sPowerSports.net. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. We are back with some action here in Prestonburg, Kentucky. Yes, we are. David Jones, Daryl McCoy, and Justin McCoy on the call as Leslie County leads Prestonburg 15 to 8 right now. And uh, we got a really good ball game. I promise you don't want to go anywhere, folks. You want to phone a friend, call a neighbor, tell them. Turn it to D&D &D Sports Network right now because we got a barn burner brewing here in Prestonburg as Coach Brandon Brewer and the Black Cats trying to uh, make a comeback here. 
as uh, Leslie County, you know, their offense hasn't showed many weaknesses. They had the one turnover on that tip ball. Well, no, they had two turnovers. They had the kick return as well. Or, I mean, the uh, running back put the ball on the ground uh, on that fumble recovery. Both turnovers was corralled and collected by Logan Stumbo for Prestonsburg. So right now, Prestonsburg definitely winning the turnover battle. And uh, let's see if they can turn that into uh, success here in the second half or if Leslie County will head back with the dub here. It's going to be very interesting. I'm, I'm, I told you. I see y'all, there's a big play of man that's just flew in here, and now they now they seen it. I've been seeing it. Look like a bat coming through. <laughs> Leslie County's taking the field. This, now, Daryl about to get that thing and fly on me, man. See? There you go. I'm, I'm going to run out of this press box. Come on, man. There it goes. I'm about to have an anxiety attack over here. <laughs> you see how big that frame man as well? <laughs> My goodness. We're about to have a panic attack here. The, uh, so, Let's here we go. go. It's going to be Prestonsburg receiving ball here in the second half. Let's see here. We got Jesse Osborne ready to kick. Yep. You got number six for Prestonsburg back there. That's Patton. And What's, is that number two? And that is Should be Elliot. Yeah, it's Dalton there, Elliot. Yep. Back hey, there man, Dalton kick. Elliot. They've looked at him a lot, you know, to, to catch the ball tonight. Mm -hmm. If he, if they well, ever connect, he's a veteran. Yes. Oh yeah, he's, and he's very well put together too. Yes. Great looking athlete. I look for a big year by him. Marcus Hilton says, "What about them Bobcats, Daryl? Listen, that was an impressive win. Absolutely. There by Carter Parsons and crew. You know that." For them to go down Berea and uh, get that win, I think they played on a neutral side. But for them to go down there and get that win, that was a big start for Coach Jarrett Gerald's crew. Jarrett Gerald, a former Prestonsburg Black Cat, David. Absolutely. We hear him his whole stomping grounds. Yep. Um, I got to see several of his old teammates out here, too, uh, before we started everything up. Got to talk to him. A little, little bit of reminiscing. Last time I come over here, I was very hated. Uh, <laughs> and now I come over yeah. here as a spectator, I'm loved. I like yeah. that. Yeah, a little different little over different, the years. Man, and, a little different. And, guys, Darrell, I just want to run over real quick. First half right here, you had Rose from uh, Peaberg. He had 75 yards rushing on the ground. Hatfield had 30. And then uh, Magger was the big back for Leslie with 70 yards on the ground. And Colette had 30 with the touchdown. And then Harris had 13 with the TD. Wow. That's, that's some good numbers for them. Yeah, and then, you know, you had Stumbo with the interception, fumble recovery for Prestonsburg, and then Collette with that interception at the end. That's your update brought to you courtesy of our friends at Markham Law Office in Williamson, West Virginia. You see uh, you see our man uh, Nick Kidd over there on crutches, man. I hate to see that. Oh, yeah. That's uh, and that's a big, big time loss for uh, for Peabody, man. Huge loss. Hopefully, hopefully he gets good news when uh, he gets X-rays or uh, whatever from that, because that he's a very important part to what yeah. they do here. Exactly. And it looks like an ankle spring from here. I'm in, and hopefully that's what it is. What I can see is shoe off there. So um, them ankles is no joke, guys. Trust me. I know. <laughs> David, did you did you get a chance on your way uh, down to see the dance cats at halftime? Absolutely, I sure did. Uh, oh, how man. good are they? How good are they? Unbelievable, man! Like that that is uh, they they really really I like that man for and, and for them to be very uh, coordinated like that around here, uh, that's big time. Um, listen, they're competitive, man. They live and breathe that. Like there's kids that come from all over our coverage area to be a part of the dance that's cats huge. here. That's huge, man. Got to continue to. Uh, we got to continue to have that a part of the mountains, man. That is that is big time. I love to get some information on them, so if they perform somewhere, we can go. Hopefully, try to stream it for everyone. Yeah, that's something everybody needs to see. I would love to do their. Uh, the, yeah, I know they do it at the Mountain Arts Center every year. Uh, that's what they're doing. They're a little confused. They're switching sides of the field, David. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what they do is you, when, after the time run out, you got three minutes, and then uh, your then is set, ready to go. So they're letting that three minutes run out, and then now they're ready to go. Darrell, did you get the score on the Johnson County game? Alvin Spears says, what's the score on Johnson County? 14-6, to six, Johnson Central up. 14-6, who was they playing? Madison, Madison Central. Madison Central. Belfries. Belfries. They got 42 now on Breathitt. 
Yeah, they, they, I thought it was a done deal. In that Running clock, second. third yeah. quarter. We knew, I knew it was going to go down. Yeah. There you go. You see Leslie County about to boot it. And Osborne with the kick. It's going to be that was a nice return. A return back to right around the 38-yard line. And that's Alex Harris with a good return. Alex Harris has been a very consistent piece on offense here for Prestonsburg. He's got their only touchdown, Darrell. Farmer uh, Velma Roberts says he's glad to see number 33 out there. Guys, make sure you hit that like and share button. Don't forget, Facebook isn't the only place you can catch this. You can catch it on the D&D Sports YouTube channel and dndsports.com. Guys, our website will keep you updated on all the game previews and game updates. Yeah, that's a nice run there. That's going to be Hatfield out around the 45-yard line. I'm about to look up with some more scores for us to keep everybody updated real quick. Jimmy Johnson says anybody got the score of Betsy Lane Berea. It was 37-0. Betsy Lane wins. That game is over. Oh, they kick it out. And yes, that's that Elliot. Elliot. Yeah, Dalton Elliot. Dalton Elliot had a nice oh, run there. Man. A little, a little extracurricular activity there as uh, Dalton Elliott, guys, if you know these Prestonsburg kids, they talk like Dalton Elliott is the biggest and the baddest dude on the block. You know, I mean, they uh, kids definitely respect Dalton Elliott on campus here, and uh, you can see why, because he is a bruiser on the football field. Absolutely. I'm getting the Terrell. I'm gonna tell you what, I, we were smart on this one. We got your Martin County Cardinals yep. 20 and Hazard zero. That's wow. it, yep. Here goes Hatfield. He's gonna pick up about two, but he's still gonna be three yards shy of the first down. David, real quick for the folks that didn't see at halftime, the uh, 42 to six, uh, Belfry is up. Raceland and Ashland is tied at 21. We got Leisure Central up 16 to 12. Russell on top of Mason County 21 to 8. Martin County up 20 to nothing. Uh, Bath County and Fairview tied at 6. We got Johnson Central on top of Madison Central 14 to 6. Paintsville and Floyd Central tied at 8. Greenup County uh, trails Co Grove 28 21. Pikeville leads 34 to 12. And here we go. Prestonburg comes up to the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap, hands off a little misdirection, and he's got room. That's Rose again. He picks up a first down and more. Nice run there, nice play call sure by was. Coach Brandon wow. Brewer. That's a, that was a killer play call right there. Uh, we that guys, been, that right there will put Rose over 100 yards yeah, on the night. Absolutely, and that's, that's been their bread and butter. Mm -hmm. Boyd County leads South Point uh, 39 to seven. We got uh, Somerset on top of Perry Central 21-15. Pike Central jumps ahead of West Carter 14 to seven. Uh, we got Betsy Lane 37 to nothing over Berea. And Raceland Ashland tied at 21. That's huge. Yes. That, uh, <laughs> Well, here we go. The uh, that's big time, and, and if I'm not mistaken, that's at Putnam too. That is, yeah. yeah. That's Hatfield right there, no game. Back at the last Over up in the shot there. Here comes the man in motion. And there goes Rose. 
back to the side the motion came from, and that's a nice Guys, run. watch him run at ball. Nice run. That dude is, he's a dude. <laughs> he, he is he, that dude. Yeah, he's a dude. Yeah. You hear me? He got the uh, – kept the feet churning there, and he he's up around the first down marker. He's going to be about a yard shy, but nice run by Rose. There you go. Yep. Power formation. Oh, here. nice. Uh-oh. Gross. You, you see who he just down. got hit by hard. Yeah, he's brought down after a gain of six on the play. I tell you, I love this. Uh, Prestonsburg playing, uh, they're going back to their heyday. And yeah, they're fact. playing power football. That's yeah. a fact. I've seen them get down like that. It yeah. gave me chills, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Hensley says Lawrence up at the half, 28-14. Appreciate that, Shane. Appreciate it, Shane. 28-14. All right, Lawrence County. Guys, if you don't care, hit that like and share button. Let them know in the comment section below where you're watching from and who you're rooting for. Get these numbers up for these boys as uh, – you're watching the Mountain Leader in Sporting News, the D&D Sports Network, Citizens Bank, Game of the Week. We got with David Jones, Daryl McCoy, and Justin McCoy. Sorry about that. We got Letcher County 30 and Shelby Valley 20 in third quarter. Oh, wow. Oh, Valley's cut the lead. Yeah. No, the, they stretched it back out. Valley did have it down to four. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Here goes Hatfield. Yeah. Guys, it's getting a little uh, – Pushy out there. Mm -hmm. Big time. And it looks like it's tied up with Madison Central, Johnson Central, 14-14. Wow. And we are back here as Prestonsburg comes up to the line of scrimmage. This is Bryce Holbrook. Good hat field in motion. Here goes Elliott outside. Yes, he does. He gets to the edge. Oh, yeah. blocking the back. back. Yeah, blocking the back. And he didn't have to do it. No. No. Wow. Those hurt. Yes, it does. That, that's rough on Prestonsburg, man. They uh, finally got a nice drive. It would have got them down inside the five, and it's going to come back. But I like the way, though, I mean, they've come out and they've showed composure here in this second half. Yep. They've, you're not seeing the mistakes they was making in the first half. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's just the signs of first games. Yep. <laughs> the first game of the season. Sonia Pennington watching from Wooten. She says, go Eagles. Scotty Dingus says, Belfry versus GRC in the Pike County Bowl next week. Reese Hamilton says we're headed for six. There you go. Lost seven yards on that, but actually you lost four yards because you had to go from the third. There you go. See if they let Hobrick pass it here. Yeah, he's lined up in the gun. Oh, oh nice. Great they got job him. by the young QB. Absolutely. Yeah. David, he used the hard count there to they pull the Eagles off hey, sides. Coach Brew, big that's, call. That's smart yeah. coaching right there. Yeah. You hear me? I'm going to get my yardage back. That's yes. smart coaching. Now that's let's it. turn a negative to a positive. That's that's really smart coaching right there. We got Josh and Sarah Roberts watching from Oxter says, go Black Cats. Appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in as uh, D&D Sports is the people's network. Black Cats come up to the line of scrimmage here, David, as they're facing a second and five. Bryce Holbrook takes the snap. Oh, nice. There's Elliott. There he is, guys. Touchdown, <laughs> Black Cats. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Hey, I told you, Darrell, I look for a big half by him. Yep. Dalton Elliott is a stud. They finally connected. <laughs> David, that was a uh, awesome uh, fake. Uh, he faked the handoff and threw a perfect strike to Dalton Elliott. 
What a play there. Black Cats. They're going to go for two, I think. Wow. That's, that's ballsy. You know, 15 to 14, it's a one point ball game. They're going to, no, uh, the, the kicking team's kicking coming team's out. Coming in. Yeah. I have to agree with them here, oh, Dave. No, no, it may no, be the Wildcats. Oh, wow. Maybe the Wildcat. Yeah, here we go. This is huge right here, guys. Brandon Brewer says, I ain't scared. And he got it. He got it. Yeah. He got it, Two Dave. Point conversion oh, by Rose. Oh, there's a penalty on the play. Oh, they got two flags. And I think it come after the play. It may be after the play. Yeah, uh, I, I think I think the play's going to stand. I think it was after after the play was called dead, right. David. I could be wrong. I think he's pointing that it's going to be assessed on the kickoff. Yep. And the uh, that's what I thought. I thought there's some extracurricular activities, maybe a shove or something after, with by, by one of the black cats. Yeah. And we got Prestonsburg on top. Things are clicking, David. 16 to 15 on top of Leslie County. It, 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 it can get real interesting. Now, is, let's see how Coach Mel and, and the Eagles respond here, David. Absolutely, and let's see how the de uh, the Black Cats defense respond. Yep. Guys, you remember first half this happened, Pete Bird scored, and they come 80-yard yep. kick yes, return sir. for a TD. Yep. You're absolutely right. They, they can't allow that I right was, here. I was swib the yes, kick out of it. Yes, absolutely. Or, or a little pooch kick, you know. Yep. Shane Hensley says O-line is playing with some tempo for Pete Bird. They sure are, Shane, big time. The uh, William uh, Canterbury says, go Black Cats. We are proud of you. They are, they are a team to be proud of. They have no quit in them, I'll tell you that. No, and, and you know, that's the thing. I mean, uh, they've kind of took the fire out of Leslie County. Leslie County come in, and they was just smacking them oh, yeah. in the mouth. Yep. And then it took Prestonsburg a bit. But now, that you know, it, it, be honest, it's kind of like Little Mac on Mike Tyson. I mean, yeah. he just kept coming, yep. kept coming, coming, kept coming. And now the bully's starting to back down a little bit, you know. And, and I tell you guys, I like to move uh, Prestonburg made right there. They took out number 10, Harris, and put in Weston. Uh, took out number 10, put in Weston. Alex Harris. Alex Harris and put in Weston yeah. at tight end, you know, and that yeah. made a big difference. Made a huge difference. And I don't know if y'all seen that last play, but Winston literally just picked someone up and pancaked him. Yes. <laughs> he did. I was Absolutely. Like, I, said, I had to hold my composure because <laughs> they just scored a big touchdown, and I'm looking all I'm like, my goodness, but. That was huge. That was huge. Wow. What a game we got here. Barn Burner Brewing here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. We got a one-point ball game with 5.45 to go here on the Citizens Bank Game of the Week. You're watching the D&D Sports Network with David Jones, Daryl McCoy, and Justin McCoy. And what they do, the pooch, and I would take yeah, it they all day out. long. I'll take it all day long. Let's uh. trust in your defense and play, or they can make them kick it over, though. They can make them re-kick it. Yeah, I, I think they're going to be happy with that field position. Oh, yeah, but they can make them re-kick yeah. it, though. Yeah, they uh, – right here, David, you know, let's see how Landry Col uh, Collette yep. responds. Oh, no, it looks like they are going to kick it over. Yeah, they, they can make them re-kick it over. Yep, they're making them do it. I'm surprised, ain't you? Because they get they have good I, field position. I, I'm very yeah, I'm very surprised. But I would kick it over here to the 50. You see him up? He's up close there to the what 50, uh, 45 there. You see a I lot would, of field would, right there about the 40. Yeah, that's a lot of field, David. Yep, I, that's why I said I'll kick it right there to the 50. I just don't pooch. want. I don't want it in Maggard's hands over here. I wouldn't, but I'll kick it up. I'll pooch kick it there. Yeah. But you see the numbers is up top there, so I see what they're doing. They're keeping away from Maggard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Here we go. And that's uh, just same Again, play. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. And he's going to make him re-kick it again. Same play, same result. <laughs> 
A little gamesmanship here between Melton and Brewer. Yeah. But you, here's my thing. I wouldn't kick it to number six over there. Uh, no. Who's that? Uh, Baker. Ba uh, Dalton Baker. He's the one that ran it back last time. David Bradley Field says David yeah, Jones, right. as in Belfry David Jones. Yes, it is. Belfry, uh, former Belfry Pirate David Jones, Mingo Central head coach, former UK Wildcat and Baltimore Raven David Jones. D and D Sports Network co-owner David Jones. <laughs> it is David Jones. <laughs> Building quite a resume there, David. Uh, I think so. <laughs> Bradley Field said he thought that you were still coaching. They are, but West Virginia don't start until next week. Yeah, we start next week. We actually got a scrimmage game uh, tomorrow morning um, versus Oak Hill on the mountain. You go, folks. Make sure you, if you get a chance, go up to Minor Mountain. 11 a.m. Cheer on David Jones and the Miners. We got us an early birdie. That same place. And, 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 and <laughs> it's kicked out of bounds, David. Uh, they're re kicking it again. Again. Wow, and <laughs> the, they're continuing to assess. I, I don't understand what Prestonburg's doing here because eventually they're back so far now, you know, you, they're going to have great field position no matter how you kick it. Yep. I, yeah, I don't understand it. I would swim it at this point. I would swim kick it yeah. and, and just go with it. Yep. If I can swim kick it, it'll give my guys time to get down there. Oh, Blake Caldwell says he's watching from Korea. Wow. I uh, know you ain't watching from uh, Seoul, Korea. Uh, it says. Uh, <laughs> It says North Korea. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you ain't working yeah. for North Korea, my man. Nah, they don't got. Yeah. they don't got uh, and guys. right now. And he's the guy right oh, there. Oh, here's Baker. Yeah. He go Baker the touchdown. Nice. Get Elliott with the big tackle. Yep, Dalton Elliott all over that. Sniff that out. Big, big play. Big, big time. Big. That's big boy football, David. Yes, sir, it is. Guys, he just made a TD grab and then made a great tackle. Yes, he did. Dalton Elliott has came alive here in the second half. Listen, somebody got on him in the locker room because that kid has come out on a mission here in this second half. Jimmy Johnson said, you'd think Prestonsburg would have a pretty good kicker with a good soccer program like they got. Yeah, that's true. We Elite says thanks for the stream, guys. Another great job. Listen, we love We Elite. Oh, you know? yeah. Hey, you guys do a heck of a job also, man. Big they do. Time. Big time. Hoping to get to work with you guys in the future. Yes, sir. There's Maggard with the carry. Oh, no. Somebody's oh, no. cramping up. Yeah. Now yeah, he's got a cramp, you can tell. <laughs> it's time. It's that it's around that time. <laughs> oh yeah, he's cramping hard. <laughs> I seen I seen it his leg locking up. Well, Daryl, as they get this cramp here, let's, yeah. give a, let's give a little word to our sponsors real quick. How about yeah. that? We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side-by-side? -side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit KieferSpowerSports.net. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. We 
are back here on the Citizens Bank Game of the Week. David Jones, Daryl McCoy, and Justin McCoy. We got Prestonsburg on top of Leslie County, 16-15. Nick Adams ended up uh, hobbing off the field. I think he's going to be okay, Justin. Yeah, he looked like Daryl just cramping. There you go, your first down. Oh, that's Baker. Yeah, that's your dude, David. That is, man. That's my that's my guy. He he is beyond athletic, girl. Yep. I'm gonna sure keep my eye on that guy. William Canterbury says shout out to the Adams Middle School team. Said they got Belfry next Thursday. Where at? Let us know. But back to the We Elite Company, David. You know, we stayed away from the 14th region for a long time out of respect for We Elite. And, you know, we, we hope to get to work with them because Absolutely. they do a phenomenal job up there around the Hazard Perry area. They really do, man. I got a lot of respect for them guys. And, um, I would love to get to work with them one day. Yeah, and they also got a uh, shirt shop there. And, uh, I think a graphic shop, if I'm not mistaken. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so hit them up. Yeah. Got a time out, guys. Yeah, real quick, we want to thank our uh, sponsors for tonight's game. We want to thank Huff Pharmacy, Hilton Homes of Ival. Hilton Homes, buy your dream home with Hilton Homes. Also want to thank the folks at Brickhouse David. We went there earlier. They're having live music tonight and tomorrow night. We want to thank uh, the good folks at East Kentucky Gun and Pond. I uh, want to thank Huff Pharmacy. Conley Brothers Giovanni's. Conley Brothers Giovanni's the best in the business. If you're going to get pizza, breadsticks, pasta, and more, get it at Conley Brothers Giovanni's. I promise you, you're not going to find a bigger supporter of Prestonsburg Athletics than Conley Brothers Giovanni's. Um, as they're coming back out here, 442 to go here in the third quarter. Leslie County here, they've got a couple uh, Couple of good positive plays here, and it looks like they got a little momentum on their side here. Let's see if they can find a way to punch a score in here and take his lead back. Collette lines up under center. He's going to take the snap. He hands it off. First man through. That's Pew. Yep. Pew. He's going to get about nine on the play. Oh. Yeah, there's another flag on the play. Things getting a little chippy here, David. Yes, it is. It's getting down to the wire, you know. No. They said touchdown by Shelby Valley, Letcher County. I uh, said uh, 30, Shelby Valley 26. So back to a four-point ball game, uh, closing in on the end of the third quarter. And it said uh, now out, uh, onside kick recovery by Shelby Valley. So Shelby Valley is uh, moving right now and going to have a chance to take the lead on Leisure Central before they hit the final period. They, uh, Jason Lewis says, tell David Jones, I really enjoyed his glory days at Belfry. And uh, the Ravens said, big time fan. I appreciate it big time, man. Uh, I'm just excited I was able to put on for our, for our mountain people and uh, I was blessed to be able to represent and I know I was proud to be from the mountains. And I know Ray Lewis and them let me know that, too. They caught me wrong turn. <laughs> <laughs> they asked me, he said, do y'all really eat people in West Virginia? I said, only up north. He gave me this crazy look. Yeah. I was like, no, nah, man, I'm just joking. <laughs> that was a heck of a defense with Ed Reed, David Jones, uh, Suggs. And yeah, uh, uh, Haloti Nagata. Yes. I mean, we had them all, man. It was, it was a blessing to just to even – be on the field the, with yeah, him. just to grace the presence. Uh, there you go. To the left. be a pass. Hell, he's got him. Oh, oh man, he had him. Almost. He had him, Darrell. Yeah, he, he had him, but. He waited a little too long. Yeah, threw it a little high there. That was intent for Simpson Ryland. Uh, that was, he's a big receiver. Yeah. But, you know, I was surprised. You know, he kind of, I, I think he heard the footsteps because he kind of dinosaur armed it. He didn't even try to. If he would have put his arms up, he may have had the catch there. Said uh, Adams versus Belfry. Said Pres uh, it's at Prestonsburg. That'd be a good game. We got Belfry versus Pikeville tomorrow, right here on the D&D Sports Network in middle school action. Should be a good one. What time do they play tomorrow? The uh, seven, I think. Mm, okay. Uh oh, Colette still on his feet. He's. Across the 50. Oh, oh fumble. fumble. He pins it off the turf. Oh. 
Wow, Alex that Harris with is, the fumble recovery. That is a game changer right there. Now you need to capitalize it, capitalize it, or yeah. just yeah, so we got we got an injury. Yeah, I think you burned some time right here. Guys, we got an injury on the field, Prestonsburg. Man, Prestonsburg. He's cramping. He's oh, cramping he's cramping. Anyway. That's not Stumbo, is it? Uh, that is Stumbo, number 62. Wow. Uh, you got to get him back out there soon. You know, Prestonsburg, when he's not on the field, Prestonsburg is playing behind the eight ball because that kid means a lot to both sides Absolutely. of the ball. Absolutely. Now, that's been the difference in this ball game, guys, is turnovers. You know, right now, uh, Leslie County's turned the ball over three times, and uh, Prestonsburg looking to capitalize on it again here with 3.53 to go here in their quarter. Guys, uh, we got Jason uh, Lewis says, much love and respect. David said he wished to meet you in person someday. Hey, anytime, man. If you, if you see us um, at a game or you know it, we're going to be at a game somewhere, Oh, man, come on, man. I'd love to meet you. I yeah. love meeting everybody who watched me and, well, and enjoyed what, what I did in my, my career. I'm a little old now, so I don't get that a lot. <laughs> and you can also, 14th Region fans, you can catch us every week on Crunch Time, the number one football show in the mountains. Yes. Uh, we get you caught up on all the news from the past week and uh, talk about the present week. Make sure you stay tuned in to Crunch Time on DND Sports Network. We got Scotty Dingus says 48-14. Belfry is up over Breathitt. Said, now put the claws in them cats. Uh, we got, uh, says Osborne sacked and fumbles. Letcher County recovers. So big play for the Cougars. Jason Lewis, he is coaching at Mingo Central High School uh, in Mingo County, West Virginia. My hometown. Yep. There you go, Stumbo. He is... Uh, they're getting him off the field and you know it's just cramps man it's a, it's always going to happen no matter <laughs> what game no matter where you're at week one of high school football will always have a load of cramps I'm sure will yeah we've been blessed with a good one here 16 15 first citizens bank game of the week of the year and prestonsburg is, and leslie county isn't disappointing not one bit All right. That was a big, that was a big play right there, guys. Yeah, that was really, um, it got me excited. See our guy Corey Thacker tuning in, uh, Betsy Lane coach. He uh, spent a little time here in Prestonsburg. There you go, Prestonsburg lined up in the gun. Hobrook hands it off, Hatfield. Oh, there's a little scrummage there. They held the flags there. They didn't call any, but Prestonsburg right now, I mean, you play too good. You can't get a bonehead play here, David, and hurt your team. No, absolutely not. With some extra crucial activity. That's not good. You got Maggard limping off. That's not good right there for the Leslie County. And, guys, if you're not familiar, Justin McCoy over here is the head coach of the Phelps Lady Hornets. So... Oh wow, 26 to 36, uh, 26 36, and Leslie County up on Shelby Valley right now. And Shelby Valley's Letcher on the Central. goal line. They're yeah. on the two yard line. Yeah, Letcher Central leading Shelby Valley. Holbrook's looking. Oh, interception! Oh, Baker with the pick. Yeah, Leslie County picks it off. And just when it looked like the Black Cats had captured the momentum, Leslie County says, uh uh. You can hold, hold my candle. Yep, there you go. What a game we've had here, guys. We've had a lot of, uh, a lot of action here in this Absolutely. last minute of play. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> As we're sitting here, uh, Prestonsburg defense back out on the field in Leslie County. Uh, Colette trying to make up for the turnover last time out. Come up, Colette lining up under center. Hands it off to Maggard. Oh, oh nice, oh, Weston. Big Weston. Wow. 
Nice hey, pop. I don't know if y'all seen, but he was fixing his helmet and, <laughs> and still took off and went up in there. Weston Harris with a big tackle. How big has the addition of Weston Harris been, David? Huge. I mean, I knew it was going to be huge. I, I knew what type of player he was. Um, and I knew what I knew how much he's worked in the offseason. I just wanted to see it translate over to the field. And yeah, yep. my goodness, it's translated very beautifully. I'll tell you right now, these colleges around here uh, need to be getting a hold of this young man right now. That. Guys, Letcher County just scored on uh, Shelby Valley. They're up 36 26. Mm. Stretched it back out to 10. Uh oh, reverse. Double, Double pass. reverse. Oh, no, he's right open. He's got him. Oh! And it's a race. And it's good. Touchdown, Eagles. Ooh, baby. A little trickery there goes a long way. As the Eagles That's a 65-yard touchdown connection. <laughs> to Rylan. Hey, I, I, I tell my guys all the time, corners, don't. Air, I don't care what they're doing this the pitch in the backfield, you stay on your guy. Absolutely. You, you have responsibilities that who's going to have outside containment. They need to stay at home. And that was a heck of a call by that uh, uh, Leslie County staff, i tell you that. It was. And, you know, Coach Melton, he's held that in his uh, pocket the yes, whole game and just for that moment. Caught the Prestonsburg defense off guard. It was just a matter of catching the ball and running. 65-yard touchdown to Simpson Rylan. Yeah. And they're going to go for two. Let's see here what they decide to do. Pullet. Intercepted. Picked off. Nice pick off by number four. That was a nice pick. That's Braden Jarvis. Yeah. As a, and, 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 and let's remember that right there because that can be one of the play of the games. Absolutely, you Dave. Know, that could be one of the play of the games right now because you know they see they're up 21-16. Yeah, so. absolutely. It keeps it, it keeps it from being a uh, two-position, or I mean, uh, where they can tie it. Well, yeah, you, all you got to do is score, you're up. Yeah. Jason Lewis says, I'm telling you, David and Daryl don't sleep on Rylan Simpson. Said he's an amazing athlete and just a sophomore. Guys, I tell you, we was talking about his size. He's he's a big receiver. Absolutely. He's, a, he's absolutely a stud. David Bell County up on North Laurel, 19 to 7. Oh, really? Yep. So, all of a sudden here, we've seen Leslie County. Steal the momentum back. The fighting Tim Couches. And if I'm not mistaken, the Coach Melton was Tim Couch's wide receiver. Oh really? I'm pretty sure. I know he I'm pretty sure he played with Tim Couch. Somebody let us know. Says live in Texas. Y'all didn't think I knew that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you got a little country. Hey baby. Y'all seen the cowboy hat, man. Yeah. Wait till y'all see my, my belt buckle. That's the next yeah. that's the next trend, the belt buckle. The belt buckle. <laughs> yeah, you wait till you see it, baby. I got one just just made for just made for whenever we go out and eat. <laughs> just so everybody can see it. Yes, D and D Sports Network. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to see that one. Well, uh, listen, the uh, I'm glad you're wearing it because people would never see it if I was wearing it. <laughs> I'm almost there, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just about there. So here we go, guys. Citizens Bank Game of the Week here on the D&D &D Sports Network with David Jones, Justin McCoy, and Daryl McCoy. We got Leslie County leading 21-16 here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. And guys, if you're not watching, tune in to D&D &D Sports. This is a Game of the Week for yes, sure. Yes, it is. It's lived up to all the hype. <laughs> here you go, squib kick. Down oh. the middle. And it's picked up. Finally fielded. Harris picked it up. Yeah. They're going to start the possession at the 34-yard line here, David. That's going to be a big – That's going to. this is a big-time uh, possession right here or a big-time drive right here for Prestonsburg. Um, this is going to be really, really big. You guys want to think Hilton Holmes of Ival. Think Conley Brothers Giovanni. The Brick House. Huff Pharmacy. East Kentucky Gun and Pond for sponsoring tonight's action. 
here on DD Sports Network. There we go, Holbrook. Lines up in the gun, hands it off. Yeah. It's Hatfield. He's ridden down after a pickup of about three on the play. Uh, Dawson Sizemore says Melton played wide receiver for Couch at Leslie County. Said offense coordinator Mike Whitaker was their head coach. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little six degrees of separation. Said and he was lightning fast, too, Jason Lewis said. Guys, they just subbed in Weston back in the game for Hatfield. So Weston Harris comes back. This is when I like their offense the best when he's in the game. He's another lineman back here in the backfield. He gives him another blocker. Absolutely. And he and there off. goes Rose. And guess who he's following? Yep. He's right over on hey, that side. It's, hey, he, I got a new name for uh, Winston. Winston the tank. <laughs> <laughs> he's ever a bit of a tank, guys. I'm telling you. He's a load man. Yes, and, he is. and right now, the uh, he, he's playing a uh, big factor yes, in Prestonsburg staying in this ballgame. Mr. Winston Harris. Brooke waiting on the snap. Oh, they got him again. Yep, pulled him off sides. And how good has Hobrook been at that, David? At third yep. and one, and he yep. picks up the first down on a hard count. Yep. You got to – every time that, that ball is close to that, that uh, first down, you always let them know. Watch the Watch, watch the count. Up. Yep. I think they're underestimating the knowledge of this young QB. William Canterbury says call, call him a cat D10 dozer. I like that one. Now. <laughs> Guys, this should be the last play of the third quarter. Should be. 21 to 16. Oh, I believe they're just going to take it. Yeah. That's a smart move. Like That'll it. lead us into the final period, guys. Call a neighbor, call a friend. Tell them, turn it to D&D Sports Network. A barn burner is brewing on the Citizens Bank game of the week. We will be right back. This is where it all started. Right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. Stop spending your money at the big box store and come to East Kentucky Gun and Pond. Get everything you've been looking for at a better price. East Kentucky Gun and Pond has guns, TVs, game systems, collectibles, and more. Come see us located conveniently in the town of Prestonsburg. East Kentucky Gun and Pond, we're looking forward to seeing you. We're back here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. You see the Black Cat cheerleading squad trying to get the crowd up on their feet here. The Black Cats are going to need every bit of the home field advantage right now from the fans as they are trailing by five here, heading it into the final period. The Citizens Bank game of the week. Prestonsburg versus Leslie County with David Jones, Justin McCoy, and Daryl McCoy on the call. There we go. Man in motion. Hobrook hands it off. That's Rose again. Rose still on his feet. He lost his oh, lost his helmet on the, in the process, guys. Look at this kid, man. Man, he runs hard. This kid is a gamer, David. He's a gamer with a capital G. And you lose your helmet, you have to come off the field for a play, right, David? Yeah, you're not supposed to advance either with your helmet off. It's uh. That's why they're bringing the ball all the way back. So once his helmet come off, you can't advance the ball. 
Hmm. Yeah, so that's but, why. I mean, it's a good yeah, rule. Right, but. right. So you, that, that's why he's not down further. So so everybody will know why they didn't give him that. Um, you can't advance the ball when your helmet come off. So Belfry gets the win. It's final, 48-14 to 14 over Breathitt County. Big win for the Pirates down in Jackson. Absolutely. Anytime you go in Jackson get a win like that, that's huge. Yeah. Martin County with the big win, 20 to seven over Hazard. There's a reverse, yep. Elliott. Called it on the end of the round, Dalton Elliott. Oh. It's gonna come back. Got a hoe. Who'd they call that on, David? Was that on Stumbo? I think, it, I think it was. It was right in the area there. I, I, yeah. I, I didn't see, you know, what it was though, honestly. I was, couldn't tell. It was in his area. Big time football game here delivering on the Citizens Bank game of the week. That was a tough penalty for P Bird. Holbrook, Dalton Elliott, run in motion, and they hand it off to Rose. Picks up about two on the play. PCC just scored 22-21. Perry, wow. wow. Uh, on top of Somerset right now. Oh, I see you, big dog. Keep Kinzer. us updated, Kyle. I see you, big dog, Kinzer, over there. Coach wow. Dixon, I see y'all. How big of a win would that be oh, for that's them? Huge. Yeah. That's program changer. That's yeah. a program changer. I'm gonna tell you right now, Coach Clevenger at Somerset is is, is a um, is a legend in itself. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know he, he's one of the legends come out of Danville High School. So there's that play. Yep. And Leslie County stayed on it there as we got number no 31 game. flex in there. Who is that? On the tackle. Number 31, Justin. Who's that? Number 31 on the tackle. That would be that's Landon Joseph. Landon He's Joseph. A, Landon Joseph, a six foot sophomore. Big boy. David Robert Bailey says McGolfin County Middle School is looking for games next Saturday on the 28th and the 8th. Uh, or for eighth grade night, 28th for eighth grade night. Need to get that out there for them. Anybody, anybody got any middle schools looking for some games? You need to get them over there to get them playing for the eighth grade night. Preston mm -hmm. Bird's going to punt it. This is the first punt we've seen all night, right? Yep. Yeah. Second. Second. Yeah. Nice punt. Yeah. Baker, he's dangerous, Dave. That's it. He's got Dave, speed. He's dangerous. He's got wheels across the 50, the 40. And he is knocked out. Wow, that kid has got some wheels, David. He sure do. Wow. He, hey, he's special. He got knocked out at the 29, and looks like Rose is down on the sideline again, guys. Yeah, he's, cramp he's cramping really bad tonight. That's his third time being down. He's, he's cramping. He's he's had a load on himself. Like I said, you know, when kid went out, it took away some runners, you know. They said Billy McCoy said Leslie is missing Adam Wooten, defensive lineman, and Napier, 57, a starting O lineman. Yeah, I see. I see several guys down there. Look, they look good. They're just in their jerseys, you know. I was wondering who they was. Yep. Yard. Terry Jones and what a lot of people don't know is that Coach Melton was a big time hitter too. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah that's a 52 yard return, guys. That's, man, that kid is, uh, he's a stud. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Listen, this is where the Black Cats need another turnover. You know, nine minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. They cannot let Leslie County cross that goal line. Absolutely not, Darrell. This is huge right here for Prestonsburg. They've got to have a stop. Hands it off. Maggard. Good defense. Yep. Good contain on the outside. It's a gain of zero on the play. I want to thank Hilton Homes of Ival for sponsoring tonight's action of Pharmacy, the Brick House. Thank our friends at Conley Brothers Giovanni's, East Kentucky Gun and Pond, 
David, it takes proud partners in the community to make these games happen, and we want to thank our gracious sponsors for allowing you folks to watch this game for free at home and allowing us to give this spotlight to our great mountain athletes. Absolutely. Collette looks back. He He's goes. got Baker. Yep. He's going to pick up about five on the play. That was just a nice little touch pass there. Jason Lewis says, nice run, Dalton Baker uh, showing them wheels off. And Jimmy Johnson says, I thought that was Derek Abney from UK back in the day. <laughs> he hey, he did look like him, didn't <laughs> yeah. he? Out of bounds, clock at 8.30 here in the bowl game. Collette. Yeah. Maggard. Oh, Pressensburg had it. Delayed handoff. And Maggard gets shoestring tackled by Alex Harris. Or no, that was number 15, I think, on the tackle there. No, that was Alex Harris, 10. Guys, it looked like Pressenberg had that in the backfield, yeah. and he split through him. That one cut, and he got yep. shot upfield. He he has good body control to Magger. Kid. He has great body control. And I tell you, man, until that run right there, Dave, they, he had 70 yards first half. That held him to three yards this whole second half. Oh, man. Nice play calling right now by the offensive coordinator coach, whoever calls him. That. We've not seen that play. There you go. Three down lineman. Alcoholette's in the shotgun. Oh, okay. Yep. Keeper. He's got, room, He's got room, and he run out of bounds. Uh, maybe a gain of one or two. There's a penalty on the play. Let's see who that's against, because if this is against Leslie County, it could be big. Yep, that's against Lazy County. You can see that's number 30 uh, pounding his helmet, telling him, you know, don't make no stupid plays. You can just tell him, like, use your head. And uh, I think this is going to go against Lazy County, David. I could be wrong. But. Yeah, it, it can it can go against Leslie. I, it's a, that's a crucial, that's crucial for him too, man. I, it's going to be on both of them. Okay. That offset, offset that, that penalty. Offset that, yeah. So Big that break play. for the Eagles there. <laughs> That's a really good call by the refs there, you know. Yeah. When, when it's a, a crunch time game like this too, you know, yep. and, and you know it's going to be chippy. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to catch the second person, but I'm going to get both of them, you know. 747 left. 28-21. Ashland defeats Russell in week one, gets the win at Putnam. That's a big, big time. There's going to be a screen. Oh, a little tight end screen. They snuffed that now. That was number 70. He was the lone man there. You know, I think he uh, fanned it enough to knock it down. The Tomcats win the uh, the uh, the seat their first their season first season opener since 2020. Wow! Yeah, that's the first season wow. opener win since two, uh, 2020. Well, I knew Raceland. Raceland has beat them three years in a row, uh -huh. and I think uh, two of them was season openers. Here goes Collette, guys. He's looking, looking for Baker. Oh, he picked it. Yes, he picked he that did. ball off. He sure did. He's in bounds. Interception. He got it, he got it guys. Wow. What guys, a that's play his by second. Jarvis, that that's his second that pick. He picked that two point conversion earlier, guys. That, that was a big time play. That was Braden wow. Jarvis. Braden Jarvis. Braden Jarvis. Is it Jarvis or Jarvis? Jarvis. Jarvis. Yeah, that's his second Braden pick. Jarvis. Yep. 5'9", wide receiver, senior. Oh, second interception of the day, and it couldn't have come at a better time, Absolutely guys. Absolutely not. That was wow. Yeah. That's a game changer. Now, if you're Pressenberg, you got to do something with the rock here. Absolutely. You can't have no penalties, you know. That's what hurt on that last drive. Folks, hit that share button. Let people know. 
DND Sports Network has it going on here on the Citizens Bank Game of the Week with this barn burner brewing here, 21-16. With Leslie County on top of Prestonsburg, but Prestonsburg's not gave up yet. Big interception, and uh, right now they have a chance to put a drive yes, together. To all, they the need lead. Is, all they need is a touchdown, Daryl. Yep. Hatfield. He's still, oh, he's still going. He's ridden out after a first down. That's a big play. Huge. That's big. Wow. Now all they got it, they have to keep their composure. Each yep. team need to keep their Absolutely. composure. Absolutely. You know, each team need to keep their composure. You never know what's going to happen, you know. And he got 10 of those after time. Yeah. Runs hard. So the game saving interception, Jimmy Johnson says. And it is rocking here. No, David, you are right. It's Braden Jervis. Jervis, Jervis okay. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that name. Yeah, no. well, it, I just said Jervis because it's, it's uh, J-E-R. E, yeah. yeah. <laughs> here comes Elliott around the corner. Yep, Dalton Elliott. Nice cut. Nice, nice run. Positive. That's positive yardage. That's it. He's going to pick up about three. Great defense to stop. You, you, you cut that off, you, you got to make him cut that back inside. And, you know, Leslie County defense did a heck of a job right there. Uh, they're going to need Pew to come up big here. You know, the uh, he's going to have to be yeah, that leader. Yeah, he's been quiet this second half. Yeah. And he is the leader of this Eagle defense. And he's he's got to make some big plays right here, you know, Kind of cut down the momentum that uh, Prestonsburg is building up here. I'll tell you what, that's some big old gaps there in up the middle. Ooh, here comes Hatfield. And he's going to pick up about three on the play. So that should be third and short here. Probably third and three or third and four here on the play, David. Let's see what they give him. Look like they're going to go to the Wildcat. Looks like it's going to be third and four, guys. Hey, this Wildcat worked earlier. We got Rose in the backfield. Taking the snap. Take your Rose. Oh. Leslie County played that very well. Yep. And he still picked up a couple. He's going to be right up. I mean, they, they're going to have a fourth and one here. David, do you go for it now or? <laughs> Absolutely, I, I think. You know, you honestly, if I'm right here, I play good defense, I'm going to go for it. it. It's dog eat dog. In high school it, football, man. I'm going high for it. High school football, Absolutely. I'm going. Yeah. Absolutely, you know. And they're going for it. Hey, looks like, is that Hatfield in the back? Oh, no, that's Elliott. They go to Elliott. He's Elliot. got, got the, the first, first down. down. He got it. He got it. Right here, Pew. In on the tackle there. Big first down by Dalton Elliott. He's made some big time plays tonight. Absolutely. The uh, William Canterbury says uh, that shows the heart of this team, said they don't quit. Absolutely not. I've I, I seen that in the first half. Um, uh, they, they've impressed me very well, both squads. It's just been a, it's just been a beautiful game, y'all. Yeah, I mean, both coaches have called it well. And Absolutely, man. There have been a few uh, few turnovers, but other than that, clean they, got they got them. They got them off again. Man, that makes three, three times three. tonight, yep. three crucial times that Bryce Holbrook, the young freshman, yep. has drawn the defense offside with a hard count. Now, what that's going to do, David, is, you know, this defense, instead of them firing off the ball, it's going to cause them to be tentative because they don't want to get another offside. That's it. You, uh, and, and it could and it couldn't. If you watch the football, you're going to get on the snap count, you know. Yeah. Guys, we're under five minutes to go. Watch and see. I think it slows this pressure down a little bit. Here comes Rose up the middle. Yeah. He's going to pick up about three on the play. That's going to get up. To about a second and one, it looks like. Those legs never start stop churning to the day. No, they nope. did. Bryce Hobrook with that awesome hard count, Josh uh, and Sarah Roberts says. Lawrence County, 34-14 over Allen County. Big win for the Bulldogs to start the season. Congrats to Coach Short and the Bulldogs. Absolutely. Guys, this could be the last drive of the game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Four minutes to go here. Prestonsburg facing a second and two. 
Man Got in Elliott motion. in motion. Yeah. Hands it off to Hatfield. He stays forward. Hey, that's, that's hey he's close. I think, yeah, I that, think he, he got it. it. I that's, think, let's that's, see what the spot that's second is. second effort right there. Yeah, yeah, I believe they're going to have to check it. Yeah, I think he got it, man. Uh, I'm like you, David. I, th I think the second. He first down. It. First yeah. down, Black Cats. Are Guys, you? this place is going crazy. Yep. It's rocking, baby. This is an electric atmosphere here. As you see, the young fans down here below us. These kids are up on their feet. Both communities represented well here in the fans tonight. Guys, we're at 200 viewers. Let's keep it going. Yeah, keep them numbers coming up as you look over there and see the spirit section of Prestonsburg. Cheerleaders. I'm getting all these scores coming in now. There we go. Prestonsburg takes the snap. There's that play. Yep. Oh. Rose picks up two on the play. David, we uh, we got Ashland defeating Raceland, Belfry defeating. Let's see, Perry knocks a 10-yard field goal with two seconds to win the game. Oh, wow. man! Congrats great. to the yes, Commodores. Absolutely, guys. Yeah, I'm sure uh, their bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau is going to be partying up there at. Uh, in Hazard, Kentucky, as Perry Central gets a big opening season win over Somerset. Darrell, this right here, this is your game drive right here. It is. Time's it running is. out. It is. Second and eight, 241 to go. Dalton Elliott in motion. I outside. believe uh, they got offsides on the receiver, number 10. Uh, Alex No. Harris. See? That's offsides on the defense. Oh, is that on the defense? Yeah, yes. He, he, so he was offside. He was all the way up in his face. Yeah, he over the ball. Up yeah, yeah. Okay. So he he was and he was the DB was offside. Yeah. I was getting to say I didn't see anybody jump. No, so he, he had to be he lined was, up. Yeah, he yeah. was up in his face. You know. Guys, here we go. Two minutes and thirty-five seconds. David, is that on coaching? I mean, should a coach have told him like? No, no. It's on the other it's, side. It's, it's, okay. See, he's still offside. Yeah. Look, he's gonna tell him to back up. There you go. They got him. Yeah. They got him again. They got him That's again. the fourth time. Another My hard man. count by Bryce Holbrook. <laughs> oh, Listen, that this That's young big. freshman making veteran plays. Absolutely. Here in his first game ever, starting quarterback. And guys, it don't always have to be a big pass or a no, run. I mean, don't. Yep. Over a power program. I mean, you got a true freshman starting quarterback over a power program like Prestonsburg. Here's Hatfield. Oh, he should have cut that nice. up. He got cut that up. He's got to put that foot in the ground right there and get up. That was a big tackle by number five there for the Eagles. Yeah, he got to cut that up field. Yep. Who was that, Justin? Hatfield. Number five, Hatfield. No, for the Eagles. What number was it? Number five. I don't have number five. Number five, uh, he's not on my roster. Huh. I believe he's on yours. And we're going to get a timeout here. And we're going to take a quick timeout ourselves. And we'll be right back here on the DD Sports Network. The world we are living in is changing. But one thing Eastern Kentucky can count on is quality, affordable homes from Hilton Sales. Beautiful, spacious, and many different floor plans to choose from. Hilton Sales has a financing option for anyone. So come by and see us at Hilton Sales. We're family owned for over 40 years. Trailhead Bar and Grill in Maplewood, West Virginia is making sure trail riders and locals are staying happy and full. One thing's a guarantee at Trailhead is great food and great service. Come watch your favorite ball game, have a party, or we'll host your events at Trailhead Bar and Grill. Proud supporter of the Mingo Central Miners and all mountain athletes. Back here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, we have a great ball game on hand here. Citizens Bank Game of the Week has delivered. Leslie County up 21-16, and it's Prestonburg with the ball, 150 to go. David Guys, Jones, I'm pretty Justin sure. McCoy and Daryl McCoy on the call. Peteburg should have all their timeouts remaining. 
Pike Central beat West Carter 20 to 10. Oh, that was a oh, that was a, almost a pick six. Yeah, they had two two guys had a chance at it for Leslie County, but they still uh, got enough on it, knocked it down. Yeah, if Craig Bray would have got that 22 from Leslie, that was pick six. Listen, this is a big third down here, third and 12. A minute and 47 to go. This is the biggest play of the game. William Canterbury says, come on, Colin Hatfield. He said, run it like you stole it. Weston Harris coming back in the ball game for Alex Harris. Big play, Dave. Biggest play of the game. This is huge. Third we, and 12. We, let's go ahead and you can count. They got two plays to get a first down. Absolutely. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go. No, you don't have to go for it all. I'd probably try to run the ball and then I, if you know, try to get closer and then do something. See what I can get right here. I got two plays to get it, and that's a perfect. There's oh, Elliott. Perfect. Oh, oh nice hit. tackle. Yeah, he hit Dalton Elliott. He was already down. Yeah, he, he was, was already down. He'd been down. I actually. They could have got a late hit there because he was clearly yeah. down whenever the kid came and hit him. There, now, you, now you're closer now. Yeah, this is going to bring a fourth this and short. Right what here. do you do, Dave, here? Do you pass or do you run? You know, I, I'm gonna stick with I, I will stick with my bread and butter. I'm going uh, I'm going I'm going to run that thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it in rows. Yeah, rows that, stomach. I'm gonna go with got, what got me here. I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with what I got, I'm, and it looks like they're going to Wildcat. Yep. Yeah, they got power. Rose in the back. That's what they're going to do. They're going to let bringing in power right formation here. here. The extra lineman. Oh, he's got it! He's got it! He's got it! He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he didn't just get the first down. That was their bread and butter. the house. Hey guys, we caught it sticking in his stomach and he took her to the house. Hey, now now listen to this. That's a lot of time still. Absolutely with a lot of time out. It's a lot of time still. Yeah. And on top time. of that, they have ran it back, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so it, it, it's uh it's still crunch time. And if you I got Landry right, Collette back there in the backfield. You got at the number eight ranked quarterback. I mean, well, and you've yeah. got Baker too, you've got yeah. a kick yeah. too. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're, we're crazy. Wow, 22-21. And guys, they got to go for two here to give it a, uh, put them up by three. That 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 is uh, guys, the crowd's going crazy down here below us. <laughs> I <couldn't laughs> they've, hear myself. they've got their blow up tube swinging. <laughs> Look at them down Look there. Look at them down here, guys. I mean, this spirit section is up on feet, and they have <laughs> represented for the Black Cats here. As you see them, they got their beach gear. They're saying they're on vacation here in week one. <laughs> but I tell you, it ain't felt like a vacation for Coach Brandon Brewer because no. these boys have had to fight tooth and nail to get to this point. We, we will be right back with the final 54 seconds of this game. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side-by-side? -side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan or visit KieferSpowerSports.net. Back here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, 54 seconds to go here in the Citizens Bank Game of the Week. Jacob Rose for Prestonsburg just run in the game, uh, the game-changing touchdown, gave him a 22-21 lead. And they are going for two. Yeah. I went two also. Well, yeah, you have to to put them up three. Absolutely. Black Cats going for two here with the Holbrook. They got overload onto the right side here. 
Uh oh, reverse. Oh, out the hearse. Oh, no, no, Alex Harris has got room. I He's got it. it. Yeah, Alex nice Harris. call right there. It was overloaded to the right side. That was a phenomenal call. Listen, that was a great call. Oh, okay. Just like Brandon Brewer, uh, just like he uh, took and got caught by that reverse yep. go, he it. used it, uh, right, gave them a little taste of their own medicine, yep. and now they are up three with 54 seconds to go in this one. I seen, I seen it. They was overloaded to that right side. And yeah, you called it. Yeah, they was all over to that right side. I seen them coming around. I was like, oh. Then I seen yeah. the reverse coming back. I said, they got it if they block it. That was a good, that was a great play call. That, that's, I like that. That was a Rick Brooks call. Wow. Guys, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you hit that like and share button. We want to thank the fine folks at East Kentucky Gun and Pond, Huff Pharmacy, Brickhouse, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, and Hilton Holmes of Ival for sponsoring tonight's action here on the Citizens Bank Game of the Week. David Jones, Daryl McCoy, and Justin McCoy on their call. Guys, I don't know, but every time we get together, we get into some good ones, don't we? <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. Now, Daryl, you remember last time they had a hard time kicking the ball off. Yep. Hey, I'm going to swivel it. I'm swiveling it right in the middle. Yeah, you, you cannot give these returners any chance to return this ball. Especially Baker, man. He's lightning in a bottle. Here we go. Prestonsburg. Here we go, guys. Yeah. Great job there. And Preston Bird's going to nice. stop them at about the 42-yard line. So, Leslie County, they're going to have good field position to start this drive. Yep. You know, David, they're going to need about 60 yards here if they want to go back to Leslie County with the dub. They got two timeouts in their pocket. Now, it's all into number one, Landry Collette. Absolutely. This kid's been a man amongst boys tonight. And don't forget, guys, about – the big receiver on the outside. Yes. Uh -oh. Looks like Preston's bird is going to use them a timeout. Smart timeout. Yep. Uh, Coach Brandon Brewer using one of his two timeouts, and as he does. If I, this is what I'm – I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, David. I said this is what I would do in this situation. I would take out a I would take out a lineman and put in an extra DB. Absolutely. It's called a nickel package. Yeah. I would take out, you know, or – or if I'm, I'm really trying to stop it, I'll take out two of them, two D linemen, and have my linebacker, everybody rush, and all that good stuff, and put in another DB. That's like a dime quarters. package. Yes, that's a dime package. Dime, yep. Well, and if you're Leslie County and you see that, then you want to maybe try to well, get a delay handoff or something. Try yeah, to that catch or hit the middle. Yeah. You know, they're going to leave the middle open. Yeah, you, you can get you can get a, a draw play or yeah. something like that. You know, start drawing, drawing, drawing. But that's when you have a linebacker sit back and play off, play yeah. the uh, quarter back running back yeah. and feed off it. Now, I'll tell you something, Dave. What do you think? I don't like a prevent at this time. A lot of teams get real cautious, yeah. and they let them walk it up the field, you know? Right, yeah. Now, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't allow them to walk it up the field because, as you can tell, they're down by three. Exactly. Um, you know, I still play football. Um, yeah. But I can still play in and out zone. Absolutely. I zone them up in and out. They look like that's what they just did. Yeah. Look at the – look at the – yeah, they, 68, they got they have five DBs in there. That's this is a nickel package. That's very smart. Yep. Very, Collette, very smart. He's back. He's got plenty of time. He's, oh, oh they leave him wide open in the flat. That's not good. That's what we talked about, Dave. Not you good. can't give up that No. You gotta you gotta have that you gotta have that linebacker read those quarterback and running back. And David, if, that was Hoskins there. He just found the open spot yeah. in the defense. If you if you uh, if you chase that out there with that uh, that linebacker, have him have him mirror him. If you're Prestonsburg, I think you got to play aggressive with what got you here you because you can't try to play a prevent right. defense here. No, that's what I said. Absolutely not. This and it's not a prevent. It's just yeah. it's just they not uh, keep them in balance. They need to keep them in balance. And man, and listen, if. You're pressing for you got to keep these receivers in bounds, you know. Yeah. Uh, right now they're doing a great job, Landry Collette, hitting them on the edges. Oh yeah, that's, it's a lot of it's a lot of tick right down, the guys. Yeah. I mean, they still got two timeouts left, and uh, they ain't even had to use it yet. 
Wow, what a ball game. Three guys, that, uh, Simpson Ryland, that's who you got to watch, guys. He just caught that pass. He's the one who caught the touchdown earlier. He's a big receiver. Oh, he's looking on the left side. Oh, he's got a man. That's Baker. Oh, he overthrew him. That was a touchdown, guys, if that was on the money. David, he had a clear six there. Yeah. He went and overthrew that. Yeah. I, like I said, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing cover four in this. Let 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 the let the other guys play underneath, and I'm gonna play back over top of everything. You know, so I don't have to worry about that uh, stop and go, those double moves, all that. I'm gonna just go over top. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna get my outside backers or that extra D, DB up under that route and play football. I said Leslie County is going to be able to take some shots here. Absolutely. Let's see what Colette comes up with. But now the guys, they got to get this first down, third and three. That, you see the middle of the field is wide open right now. Third and three. Mm. There's Baker. Get him out. Get stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Good tackle. Yep. They're going to have to take a three pass. That was Alex Harris with a great tackle, keeping them in bounds. Going to make them burn one of them two timeouts they have. Leslie County. Up and cheering right now, and Landry Collette and the Eagles have gave them a lot to cheer about as they have a chance to take the lead or tie this ball game here with 21 seconds to go. David, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back for the final 21. The world we are living in is changing. But one thing Eastern Kentucky can count on is quality, affordable homes from Hilton Sales. Beautiful, spacious, and many different floor plans to choose from, Hilton Sales has a financing option for anyone. So come by and see us at Hilton Sales. We're family owned for over 40 years. We're back here in Prestonsburg. We got 24-21, Prestonsburg on top here on the Citizens Bank Game of the Week with David Jones, Daryl McCoy, and Justin McCoy. Collette takes the snap. Low snap. He's got to run. Oh, we got to get him in. They got to tackle him in bounds. Nice, nice stiff arm. Nice defensive play by Prestonsburg. Yeah. Yes, it was. 12 seconds to go. 12 seconds to go, David. If it comes down to it, we see the kicker warming up here. Do you kick or do you go for it here if it comes down to that? I got a good kicker. I'm going to go ahead and kick it. Absolutely. I agree, Dave. I, I'm, not getting any, I'm not getting any more penetration down here, you know, right now. And, I'm, you know, I'm going to have to go for the kick and, and regroup. And I tell you guys, no. a safe play right now for Leslie, they're leaving that middle open. If they can hit no. the middle for about 10 yards yeah. and then get their time out, they got a chance to tie this thing, put it in overtime. I'm, I'm going to go for it in that situation because right I don't want on an opponent's field he, mm. go to overtime. Here we go. That wheel route. Nice defense. Yep. Guys, they got one more play. Guess who pressured that ball right there? That was that, number 42. Yep. That was Harris and number, that was number 65 also over there. That was big Lafferty. Colton Lafferty, he's been the transfer come in from Floyd Central, and uh, he has played like a man today. He sure has. David, if you see that kid in person, he looks like a young Lou Ferrigno. Oh, I've seen him. <laughs> I'm over there looking at all of them. Winston came up to me. He came yep. walking behind me. I'm like, listen, guys, I, I don't no longer play yep. anymore. I ain't. I come over here to just to broadcast you guys, you know. I had to, I had to, I had to protect myself. <laughs> It's call it, they said. Call it. Call, call it. it. Yeah. Eight seconds to go. Here we go. Third and ten. Eight seconds to go. Collette. He's going for it. Oh, great defense. Great defensive play. He didn't. He could have easily got a pi on yeah. that man. That was a great defensive that was, that play. Was a great defensive play right there. Who was that, number 22? Uh, number 22. With the awesome play. play. That was Drake Hatfield. 
David, it's coming Hatfield. down that we got two seconds. The ball game is in this play right here. Fourth down, 10 to go. Well, it's basically fourth and goal yep. here. You either got to get the score or you're going home with the loss. That's it. Yep. Let's keep it right here so the fans can see oh, this, yeah. whole, this whole environment right now. Now, back in the day, if you was a team like Middlesbrough and had a kicker like Dustin Wynn, you may kick this. But, yes. Yeah. I, I, I think this would be uh, – You're going to have to go I for it. I think this is yeah. a little too far out of his range. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what his leg's like, but I couldn't imagine, David. That's a, That would be uh, close to a 40-yard. Yeah, I'd say about a – I'd say about a 35. Yeah. I'd say about a – yeah, that would be like a 30, 33, 35, something like that. Yeah, That's what, it's seven yards back. Yeah, that's about a 30, 30-something 30 Then you got yard. the 10-yard yeah. end zone, so. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, could we ask for any better football game tonight than what oh, we've watched? Man. No, we couldn't, man. And, we, uh, we knew what was going to happen. Man. You folks at home, it's nothing. Uh, we couldn't do it without you guys. So it all comes down to this, Jimmy yep. Johnson says. Bradley Dammer says it depends on the kicker. Yep. <laughs> yep. Wim was kicking 55 to 60 yarders. Yes, he was, Jimmy Johnson, the best <laughs> kicker I've ever seen in my life. David, we used to rush home after football games to watch sports overtime just to see yep. what field goal Dustin Wynn kicked that night. Oh, you're sure enough. Guys, here we go. Yep. This is it. Here this is go. your ball game. Fourth down. It's all in Landry Collette's hands here. Guys, look for big 18 right here. I think that's who he's going to. Three receivers to his right. Here it goes. There he is. There's eight. It's intercepted. Oh! Get down. Get down. Get down. Dalton Elliott is across the field. He's not getting down. He's taking it to the house. A pick six to seal the game. He's across the 10 to 5. Touchdown, Black Cats. Dalton Elliott with the game saving interception. Yeah, that's big. That's huge. And what a game. Wow, big time play. This place is wild right now. And David, it's been a long time since this much excitement yeah, over the Christmas Day <laughs> football. The kids running out there, that's awesome. Huh? Check out the fans. Yeah. That's awesome right there. That's, that is. That's all them young men that looks up to them guys and, and their mm -hmm. classmates, I like that. That is awesome, man. Listen, that's what it's about, man. Prestonburg football is back on the map. This yeah. is a heck of a game. Leslie County has nothing to put their head down about. I mean, great, great job from both coaching staff, man. Uh, this is a great brand of football over here. Uh, I love it, man. I mean, listen, this right here to start the season, and you can tell Leslie County's fans, they're still excited about how their boys produced. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. That yeah, the uh be interesting here as uh guys you see the fans waiting on their beloved black cats here to celebrate here in Prestonsburg. And there they go. There they go, guys. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break, and we will come back with our post-game analysis and our Mingy Beef Jerky Player of the Game. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. Do you want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast. It's easy. All you have to do is log on to We Are Citizens. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. That's the scene here in Prestonsburg as Prestonsburg gets the opening season win against Leslie County 30 to 21 in a thriller of a ball game where Dalton Elliott got the game saving pick six. David, 
huge win for the Prestonsburg Black Cats. Yeah, that was huge, man. Uh, congratulations, Coach Brewer. He deserves this big time. He's He came over here. He revamped this program. He stuck it through, and, and his efforts is paying off, man. We're seeing a great brand of football back here um, in, in the Black Cat country. This is a, and listen, as you look over to the other side, man, this is the uh, this is the other uh, side of it. You know, I mean, Leslie County, they have no reason to hang their head, Absolutely man. Absolutely not. I mean, know. they come in, and I promise you, Eagles fans cannot be uh, the, yeah, at all. in in this, uh, yeah. you know, in the product that they seen tonight Absolutely. on the field. You know, it, it, it was. Uh, they showed a great performance, you know, and the ball just bounced the other way, you know. And huge effort. It's a huge effort, and, I, and I'm very excited for their season also. They are, guys. So, uh, as we're sitting here, uh, every uh, ball game we get to this point where we have to name the Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. And uh, I think the uh, Prestonsburg team picked it uh, for us as they uh, held him up and uh, as – the uh, as he was lifted in the air by his teammates. Okay. He had, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's it. Yeah, the uh, we want to make sure we was on the same page. Uh, the Mingy Beef Jerky Player of the Game is going to go to number 21, Jacob Rose. Justin, what's his statistics tonight? Guys, he had a great game. He uh, first half he rushed for over 70 yards. Man. Second half he just finished even stronger. He finished tonight with 185 yards with the God. TD. Wow. And a two-point conversion. That's it. And it was the big. Uh, and third. it was the biggest run of the night, the game winner. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, it is the game winning touchdown to put him ahead, the uh, going ahead touchdown. And listen, even though he's taking home the media beef jerky, you know, Elliot. Dal yeah, Dalton Elliott wow. put on a show, David. Absolutely. I, I totally agree with that. And, you know, I'm a defensive guy, you know, yep. and, I, and I have to give big shout outs to, uh, to my boy. Um, Weston uh, Harris. Weston Harris. Yeah. And, you know, he he did he played big, and I can't forget about uh, Dalton Elliott. Yeah. Um, yeah, two, Dalton they, Elliott. Yeah. Uh, yeah, them two just played big. I thought that they was the, the, the key factors on the defensive side of the ball um, and, and come up huge for them. Yeah. Uh, Elliott, guys, had a 23-yard touchdown catch and a pick six. Yes. Uh, and let's not forget, the guy that kept him in this game in the first half was Logan Stumbo. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah, guys, another name don't forget is number four, yep. Jervis. Yep. Yeah. Two yep. interceptions. Yeah. And not and the biggest interception down here inside right, the end zone. That, he was my yep. other impact player. Yes, I had yeah. three, and he was my other impact player. I um, mean, if I had to give that, a defensive MVP, it would have been Jervis. Wow. Yes. Uh, big plays there from players all around Black Cats. Got to be satisfied. Listen, right now, you know, the only thing that you've seen tonight that they got to work on is getting that young quarterback experience because oh, yeah. he played really well, and I was – very impressed I, with the hard count. I was, was going to say was, that, absolutely. I was, I was very impressed with his composure. Yeah, I his always, poise at the yeah, end. I always look at QB, especially young QBs, and see how they handle themselves when they're, when they're in certain situations. And whenever he got in, in adversity, he never dropped his head. He never pouted. You know, he just come in, calm, cool, and collected and made something yeah. happen, you know. So yeah. that was uh, that was very good to see, and, and he's every bit of advertised. That, that definitely. Uh, as we look here at the Conley Brothers Giovanni stats of the game, Justin, what do we got? We've got uh, Rose with 185 yards rushing, touchdown, two-point conversion. Hatfield finished with 68 yards rushing. Harris had, uh, had a 13-yard touchdown, two-point conversion TD. Uh, Elliott rushed three times for 15 yards, and he had a 23-yard touchdown and a pick six. And then on Leslie County, Maggard, the good back, he had 85 yards rushing. They shut him down second half. He only had 15 yards second half, 70 in the first. Uh, of course, Colette, he had a 30-yard TD run. Uh, passed the ball for over 100 yards. Baker was the biggest one tonight for them, man. He had – he had two interceptions. Uh, he ran the kickoff return yeah. for a touchdown. Yeah. He was the X factor. He was the X factor. And and Pew, Pew finished the night with probably 15 tackles yeah. and a sack. Yeah, absolutely. So he had a great game yeah. also. All right, guys, as we go to the double quick game updates around the mountains, real quick. Belfry defeats Breathitt County 48 to 14. Pikeville defeats Pulaski 34 to 12. Ashland defeats Raceland 28 21. We have Leslie County defending Shelby Valley 36 26. Martin County defeats Hazard 20 to 7. Johnson Central gets the 28 21 lead over Madison Central. Bath County defeats Fairview 20 to 6. 
We got uh, Russell defeats Mason County 28 to 8, David. We got, yeah, Cove Grove, Ohio gets the 36 28 win over Greenup County. Prestonsburg gets the 30 21 win over uh, Leslie County here on the Citizens Bank game of the week. We got Boyd County leads 46 to 7, uh, where they got the win over South Point. Uh, Estill County defeated East Carter 22 21. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, then we had Betsy Lane winning over Berea 37 to nothing. Perry Central gets the one point win with the uh, game winning field goal 22 21. Then we have Pike Central getting a win over West Carter. And I think that leads us. We don't, uh, I can't remember the score, but we do know Lawrence County defeated Rowling County. I think it was 28 14. Guys, what a great ball game we got to see here uh, on week one to start the season. Wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else than right here in Prestonsburg tonight, David. It would have been hard to imagine a better game than this one. Absolutely. I'm excited I got to come out to this, and uh, I'm ready to get ready to get after it tomorrow. It's got me pumped up. Well, guys, that takes me to my next thought. Make sure, guys, to uh, if you ain't doing nothing tomorrow at 11 a.m., it's an early game, so you should be able to do it and then go do what you have planned for the evening. But Mingo Central plays uh, in their scrimmage game, final scrimmage game, tomorrow at 11 a.m. And guys, we got a huge update here. We got uh, prayers for Caden Varney. He broke his ankle tonight. Wow, yeah. that's a huge loss for the Belfry Pirates. Man. Absolutely. Absolutely, guys, I hate to hear it. he's such a good kid. It is, man, and uh, you know, I mean, we've, uh, we're have we really close to Bobby and his family uh, over there. And Major prayers for him, man. Yeah, so uh, man, I, I really hope that uh, things work out to where, um, man, just, just pray for the young man. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, guys, Coach Brandon Brewer gets the dub here. Prestonsburg moves to 1-0. and Leslie County moves to 0-1. Guys, want to thank once again our gracious sponsors, East Kentucky Gun and Pond, uh, Huff Pharmacy. Want to thank um, the Brick House. Want to thank uh, Hilton Homes. And then uh, East Kentucky Gun and Pond for sponsoring tonight's game, guys. Make sure you guys continue to follow D&D Sports Network for all your sporting news coverage around the mountains. Daryl McCoy, Justin McCoy, and David Jones. Till next time.